Testing one, two, welcome, sim fans. Welcome, old golfer 67, Tommy Hughes, and hey, Swedish Aviator, you made it. Good to see you guys. Be on in a few. Audio check, one, two, one, two. Hello? Hello! 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 Hello, Sim fans! Welcome to another Sim Fanatic live stream this Saturday night! Tonight we are back in the latest development edition of the Fly by Wire Airbus A320, friends, using the cool Jet Star livery given. We are flying in Australia, mates! How about we put another shrimp on the bobby? <laughs> So good to see all of you, Old Golfer 67, Kyle Summers. Kyle, how the hell are you doing for my friend? Old Golfer, talk a little bit about the temperatures of the CPU and GPU. If your new machine, my new build, we'll get into that. Swedish Aviator, hello, hello, sir. Good to see you. And everyone else that is has climbed aboard this A320. Tommy Hughes, Tommy Hughes, he's still out there. Tommy, welcome to the stream, my friend. And so, let's take away the thumb, and uh, we see, I see some nice Jetstar liveries out there, friends. I see some of Kyle off to my left. I see Old Golfer, I see you off to my right. And I see Reaper 1 off in the other terminal. Guys, it's going to be a great night, I think. It's going to be a fun night. We got live weather going. You see all the clouds above? Right now it's about approximately 11 a.m. in Australian time, local time. <laughs> Swedish, I'm doing well, my friend. Uh, I bet you're very tired. What is it, like 3.30 in the morning there? I think you said, 3.30? Ouch, ouch. 
That is brutal, my buddy. My buddy, my pal. Welcome, everybody. Symphonatic with you once again. I appreciate you joining me this Saturday night for Back in the Big Bird, right? We're back in the Big Bird. Oop, I better get that. See that little uh, black thing right there? That's the kind of stuff that drive drives aces down nuts. It drives me nuts, actually, to be honest. Just push that back a little bit. That's from the um, my shock absorber for my microphone. So anyway, guys, good to see you. Hopefully, you have had a great weekend so far. And boy, it's just going to get better because you're with me now and with each other, all of you out there, Sim fans. So let's get in and have some fun with this bird. A320, let's take a look, see. Oh, uh, there she is in all of her beautiful livery glory, Sim fans. Now, if you don't have... If you don't have this livery, fret not. Fret not, friends, because you can pick it up. It's linked down below. It's right down below in the video description. Just, just check it out. And uh, you can be flying this livery as well. Jetstar is a low-budget airline in Australia, and so why wouldn't we fly this aircraft in livery, right, friends? So we are going to check this out and look at over here. Look at you guys. You guys getting these liveries. Let's go on. Uh, let's, let's take another look out here. Let's go... Zooming on in. Oops. Let me get my uh, Xbox controller going. Ace is down in the house. How the hell are you doing, Aces? And Harry W. Buffering again. I hope it's just you, my friend, because I just got a static IP, and if I'm buffering, I'm going to be really pissed off. Um, anyone else having buffering issues? I'm looking at my uh, side monitor here, and I don't see it on that one. So, Harry, I'm hoping it's just you, my friend. I'm hoping it's just you. Look at that. Reaper 1 with that... Beautiful Jetstar livery. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Gorgeous. Yes, gorgeous. An old golfer flying Boeing. Oh, flying Boeing. Of course. Guys, would we expect anything different than in an American Airlines livery? Ha, ah, that's awesome. Welcome, flying Boeing, aviation spotter, aka. A hey, look at that. ISU fan for life. That's Harry right back there, guys. Great to see you, my friends. One and all, so much fun to be here with you tonight. Zoom right back in here. Excellent. Okay, what I'm going to do now, friends, is... You ever want to get the wing view? Just go in here and go to your fixed camera on this bird. Go to 17 and then 17. you got to click it twice. And there you go. If you ever wonder, how do I get that wing view? And then you can hit A and Shift A. And that cycles you back and forth between your wing views. Easy as, easy as that, right? And I've got a... As you guys know, I've got my uh, controls map. So I can go to the front and then to the wing. And guys, I do thank you for voting. Uh, so I, I tried. I never tried the chat poll, so I thought I'd do that too. So it was unanimous. Well, not quite unanimous, but it was pretty close. We're starting cold and dark, and as you can see, this bird is quiet, right? I mean, even if. Shh. I hear nothing. No engines. No APU. Friends, that's because we are cold and dark. So we will be starting this bird from the get-go. And guys, I am no aviation spotter. I am not an A320 expert, okay? So I'm going to go through how I do it, and it's not going to be entirely exactly how a real-world pilot in one of these aircraft does it. I'm just going to say that right now. So if you want to give me crap, fine, but <laughs> it's going to be the way I do it. You guys do it as deep as you want or as light as you want. You know, you guys, that <clears throat> some of you talk about, hey, I've never flown these birds, uh, the A320. I've never done the flight plan and the IFR and the commercial flight plan with the stars and the SIDS. And it's so confusing and overwhelming. Guys, fret not. You know, if you want to start off at the beginning, just load an IFR flight and let uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator load everything for you. It'll actually put it in the MCDU. Um, for the aircraft and you don't have to worry about programming everything like I'm doing tonight okay but there are some tools that can really help you sim toolkit pro you got to get it I've talked about it before if you don't have it stop what you're doing and go get it right now okay sim toolkit pro and if you don't have a sim brief account stop what you're doing right now and go get a sim brief account because I'm going to tell you what guys it's going to make your lives so much easier and it's going to reduce the workload on prepping this aircraft. I'm going to show you all tonight because you wanted me to do cold and dark. We're going to go through that. And by the way, I know this this is probably going to drive uh, aviation nuts because there's a nice checklist. There's a really thorough, in-depth checklist that I've gone through and I have used and I love it, but I still like my uh, 
what that's going through there look at that that's cool but it's going um so there's a checklist here a paper checklist and this is actually for the Air airbus a320 neo um so i'm kind of old school at the checklist guys and i'm not afraid to admit it i'll admit it but it's all right so with that being said, friends, let's go ahead and uh, get started with getting this bird powered up. Now, I'm going to leave the music off for now, um, just so we can get this bird started. So, first things first, um, you know, usually in a real life situation, you're going to you're going to walk around the aircraft. And guys, just for the uh, immersions, I am going to turn off the nameplates for now. And I guess I always do. I'll turn those back on uh, a little bit later. Um, but we do have a lot of people that jump by to see it, and then this does work better for screenshots. Oh, by the way, I've got a button programmed on my stream deck and I, I'll hit it now. I already got a screenshot of it. It goes right to my photo editor and I don't even have to alt tab nothing. So I told you guys last time I was gonna do that. I don't know, Ace has said that we're gonna have to get a uh, pay for the additional storage on Discord because I'll probably be loading that sucker up. Anyway, so you normally would do a walk around the aircraft, right? But what we're gonna start with today, tonight, is uh, cold and dark, as we said. And um, so the first thing is in this checklist is uh, make sure your parking brake is on and it is on. If I go down here, you can see that my parking brake is on. If it's turned to the right there and you can see it's on. So my parking brake is on. My flaps are up as you can see and I'm checking that. And by the way, let me go ahead and throw on that beautiful Bravo cam that I know you all love. So I'm gonna turn that baby on right now. So here we got the Bravo and you can see I've got my um, speed brake here and my flaps selectors all the way forward. So that is good there. So that part of the checklist we actually accomplished already without doing anything. Spoilers retracted. I skip over weather radio, predictive wind shear, engine master one and two off. That's already set by default when we go in here. Thrust levers, this one you want to make sure of though because you want to make sure that those are at idle. And a do check and make sure your gear is down. I've messed up that before, guys, because like if my... If I finish doing a quick flight and I had the gear um, up and maybe something happened, um, I have started it with the gear up. <laughs> so good to always go through these pre-flight checklists um, for the cockpit. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start the ground vehicles. Now, by the way, guys, pick this up as well. Um, this is a uh, free pushback utility. I think it's pushback toolbar. Um, Aces or somebody, maybe throw a link. I was gonna do that earlier, trying to throw that in there, but uh, this is a must have absolutely must have it's free and it's beautiful it's not quite as good as the x-plane pushback utility but it's getting pretty damn good uh let's see john franco john welcome to the stream great to see you john aviation spotter i prefer the paper checklist as well at least for now oh awesome aviation well we're we're on the right page then we're together on that then uh who flies american airlines in australia <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we know that, right? That That is a what we call a rhetorical question, right? Uh, oh, Goffer 65 said, or 67 says, Symphonic, have you set up your steering tiller yet? Um, I, 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 You know what? I haven't. I just used the rudder pedals, old Golfer, for that. Um, I would at some point, like, they, they make an actual hard... You, know, you guys know I'm a hardware junkie. Um, I would like to get an actual uh, steering tiller just for that. It's actually hardware that I could move my aircraft that would be awesome swedish aviator hey sorry for not staying for long it's 3 38 a.m and i really want to sleep sorry if i couldn't stay for longer so see ya swedish aviator if you're still here um thanks for stopping by appreciate you stopping by all right uh some fans I, I think i got caught up on chat um so anyway so this is a definite must once again and so we're going to go to aircraft and then we're going to bring our fuel truck our catering cars, our jetway, we'll go ahead and have the jetway coming up and then we'll have our baggage carts come up and uh, see, I love I love this guys. I think this is so much fun. Oh, listen to that too. So that noise when you're sitting in an Airbus, that's actually the, the cargo doors or the uh, baggage compartments. That's that sound. I love the fact that you can hear that. Uh, I, I think the guys have done this, uh, fly-by-wire have done such an excellent job. And uh, all right, so now we got the ground vehicle started. Now we're going to go ahead and turn on the batteries. All right, so we're going to go up here and we're going to go bat one. Aces, you know what I'm thinking right now. Bat one, you know what I'm thinking. All right, and then bat two. And I usually wait for all the dings to get done. So there's going to be four dings you're going to hear. There's a second. There's the fourth. All right, once that's done, go ahead and hit the external power because we have it in green, so it was available. 
And you're gonna hear that uh, air conditioning and it's gonna cool all the uh, avionics and stuff in this, in this cockpit. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and next thing is cockpit lights. So we're gonna just go right over here, Sim fans. Now this is gonna do our left MFDs. So we're gonna turn those up because it is during the day, so it gets a little bright, or it gets, we need them to be bright, right? And I actually turn these up now that I have a 3070 card. Um, I usually go about halfway during the day. What do you do, aviation? I usually go about halfway on those, and we're gonna go down here. Don't really need to do these floodlights. That's mostly at night, but I still do them a little bit. But then we want our ECAM, uh, those lights to go up. So we're gonna go ahead and turn those up so we can see them better, and that's pretty much all you do. And now you notice, guys, because the doors, the cargo doors, the cabin doors are open, you can see that that is showing uh, in our ECAM page there. So that's kind of wonderful. Tommy Hughes, France, location? Oh, yes, sir. Well, we're gonna get into that, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw that up. There is our, um, oh, shoot, I'm kind of in the way. There is our location tonight, Sim fans. I'll go ahead and turn those. So, um, our flight route, rather. And uh, actually, Kyle um, had a suggestion in our moderator channel uh, to put the flight uh, level there as well as the fuel. So, Kyle, thank you for that. Um, call out to Kyle. That was a great suggestion. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and uh, load up Sim Brief here in a moment for all of you so you can all see that. But that is the flight plan. And by the way, Nightbot should be posting that, that flight plan here uh, soon. Thank you, Aces, for putting that link into the uh, pushback toolbar. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. Yes, we are in Australia, Tommy. Australia. Good day, Mike. You guys are going to be sick of that by the time I'm done. I'm telling you that right now. You're going to be absolutely sick of it. You're going to be like, Symphonex, stop. Just stop. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that up for now. But anyway, so we got these all um, displays all lit up here. And that's good. Cockpit lights, um, instrument display brightness is set. IPU, 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 <laughs> APU engine test. So if you go up here, just want to check and make sure that, uh, well, actually it's this one. Oh shit. I want to get right there. I want to make sure that it's giving you the audible si signal and audio sound. Um, crew supply, we're going to go ahead and click that button. Remember, you want, don't want to have any lights on once everything's going. Lights on typically means bad or something's wrong um, and then our navigation system our eight ears so we're gonna go nav on IR1 nav on IR2 and nav on IR3 that gets so set we're gonna go ahead and turn on the wing lights which are right down here sim fans right there we're gonna go wing on and we're gonna go nav logo on so what does that do well we'll just go outside and of course then we have our green light on the right wing and we should have our red light uh, right here on our left wing. There's our fuel. We'll get to our fuel in a minute here. Okay, so that those are on. Excellent, so we can keep going. Uh, oh, we also want to do our no smoking. How many of you out there are smokers? Well, you're not smoking now. There's the thing. <laughs> Isn't it crazy to think that people used to smoke at airplanes? That's just nuts to think about. A portable device is auto, and then the emergency exit we want to do arm, which that button right here, again, we're on the A320 fly-by-wire, that's going to be right there. And you can use your, your scroll wheel on your mouse to when, when there's multiple switches, you can use your scroll wheel on those, friends. Um, so we got that set to arm. Now our eCam page, uh, we're going to get to that here in a moment. Flight directors, now by default, these are already on. And aviation, there was a point in time, I know you're... You help on development work on this aircraft as well. Um, you give input in, on it, and the flight directors are now on by default, so that's all good. That's all cool. Oh, asking Franco his location. No worries, Tommy, my friend. Flight directors are on. Barometer. We, we okay. So now here, because we're in Australia, I believe somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but we go in HPA, right? We go on HPA for, for our barometer setting. So I'm gonna hit B and we're at 10, we're at 1006. And I think the transition, somebody correct me if I'm wrong on this. I think the transition altitude is 8,000 feet in Australia. Anybody know what the, trans I, I was I meant to look that up earlier today and I forgot to. I think it's 8,000, kind of like in um, a lot of the European countries and that, but I am not 100% sure. And then EFIS, so we're gonna go down here. This is our EFIS panel here. 
So we're going to hit uh, C S T R. We're going to click that button to get that lit up, and uh, everything else should be fine. Um, we should have this already on arc, which it is. This is already at ten, um, so we're good there, guys. Okay. Um, and now we get to have fun with the MCDU. So here's where we're going to get into the the nuts and bolts of uh, programming the MCDU. And, and what, what I want to say to you guys is it's not difficult. Don't feel intimidated by programming the MCDU. I'm going to show you something that is going to help you and make it a lot easier, okay? So first things first, let me see if this works. I, I, I did restart my computer. I always restart my computer before um, I get going. So here here is SimBrief, okay? So as you can see, We've got the SimBrief, and um, so all you need is SimBrief is a, I think I have it linked below as well. SimBrief is free to use. Actually, um, it was purchased by Navigraph, so Navigraph actually owns SimBrief, but it is still free. Um, Navigraph, of course, will allow you to um, have a subscription. I have a subscription to get all the current um, charts and stars and SIDs. We'll talk about what that means in a minute. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, I can't even remember. It's not too bad. It's probably like, I, God, I'm going to say this and it's going to be wrong, but I think it's like 60 bucks a year, or 40 bucks a year. I don't know. Aces, maybe look that up. I can't remember. Um, but uh, Navigraph, I think if you do a lot of commercial flying, Navigraph is absolutely worth it. And, uh, and Navigraph will actually, in SimBrief, will, I know this is a lot, but it will actually plug into what's called Sim Toolkit Pro. So let's take a look at Sim Toolkit Pro. Um, so Sim Toolkit Pro is another freeware product, and you guys absolutely need to have that as well, because if you don't, what the hell? Uh, but here's, here's Sim Toolkit Pro. The nice thing about this is you can simply, um, so essentially you don't even have to go, it used, I used to have to go into assembly first and then like do my route and all that, and then update the ARAC cycle. A, ARAC is just basically the charts. It gets updated multiple times a year. To keep all the, the approach plates and the standard ar arrivals and the standard uh, instrument departures, all that stuff gets saved or you pay a subscription, you get all that updated in your charts. Okay, so um, this actually connects together with that. But the cool thing about this is you just go to flight, flight planning. I wanna make sure everybody can see that. Everybody see that? Maybe I can make that a little bit bigger, maybe. Hold on guys, I hear somebody's like uh, already, already launched up and ready to go. And, Okay, let me um, let me expand this out so it's a little easier to see. So the cool thing about this is like you can say, okay, like our departure tonight is uh, what the hell was it? <laughs> it's uh, okay. Let me get myself out of the way. So YBCS, right? So you could just type in departure YBC uh, YBCS. There's Cairns International. So you hit that, and then you go over here, and then YSSY, which is Sydney, and there's a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna scrap scratch the surface on but like um so like you could have like an a you could say okay i want to do that a332 and you can even do advanced settings if you want and you can get really really deep but the important thing is once you get done um, and you select your aircraft you just hit this generate plan now the cool thing i'm not going to do that because i already did this but when you generate the plan essentially what that is going to do guys is that is then going to bring this up um, it's going to pull all your SimBrief stuff into Sim Toolkit Pro, okay? So all this information that is in this PDF, like if I go to routing, this route and everything underneath, not everything, we'll, we'll get into that too, because it, it won't have the stars and it won't, it won't have the SID in the stars, okay? But that's easy to put in. But it's going to have all your major uh, routes, um, and so that'll already be in there. And so that is just, all you have to do is click a few buttons. The other cool thing is, which, I, you know, um, the fly-by-wire wire Airbus 320, the MCDU actually pulls SimBrief. So you, you get, when you sign up for SimBrief, you get a um, account and you get a number designated to you. And all you got to do is go into the MCDU, and I'm not going to show that right now, but there, you can just check uh, YouTube and, and just look like typing in, you know, your SimBrief number into the MCDU for the fly-by-wire A320. It will pull all that, friends. It'll pull all that information into your MCDU. And then, I mean, that's pretty damn cool, right? So, so anyway, 
so w again, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through meticulously and show you how to do step by step, but the, the major things that you need to remember, have a SimBrief account. Uh, I think actually now you just get a Navigraph account and then it pulls in with the SimBrief. Get so Sim Toolkit Pro. Those are both, I think, linked down below. Grab those and um, just follow what I just showed you. Enter your flight, your your start, your destination, and it, SimBrief will just generate. And then here's the other cool thing, guys. It'll actually pull in like real weather data and it'll have like real world flight operations in terms of like what airport and what runway at that airport you're going to be taken off of and landing on, right? And so, and the SIDS and the stars for those things. So that is a pretty damn cool thing. And it's all, the best thing about it, it's free. Why wouldn't you get it? It's free. Okay, enough of my rambling on about this stuff, but let's go ahead and get our stuff plugged in here. So here, here's what we do. We go to Atsu, we go to AOC, and then we go to INET Press. And like right here, notice there's nothing in here, okay? Now watch watch this, it's like frickin' magic. Watch this. INET data rec request, we hit that button, watch what's gonna happen, it's all gonna fill in. YBCS, YSSY, how does it know that? Because it pulled it from SimBrief, what I was just talking about. It pulled that information from SimBrief and just plugs it in here, friends. That's it, And then that's all there is to it, okay? Um, and then what we're gonna do is we wanna go back to the AOC menu and then the next thing is we got to do our weight and balance. Now at this point in time, they, they've changed this stuff up a little bit. We got to turn on our EFB, our little iPad here. Let me get caught up here on uh, on the chat. John says, "I'm a, I'm glad I never picked up the smoking habit. It is both addictive and expensive. Absolutely. <laughs> no, Australia is not a European country, but it, it's like eight thousand, right?" I wasn't saying it was a, a, a European country. <laughs> I'm just saying like European countries. I know Australia isn't a European country. Uh, Aviation says, I don't use Sim, Sim Toolkit Pro, so I don't think it's uh, not much of a must have. Oh, well, you know, I think it is. So I guess we disagree. We'll agree to disagree. I think if, if you're flying this, Sim Toolkit Pro is definitely something to have, but to each their own, by, for sure, Aviation. Uh, let's see, John Franco did the METAR, Tommy Hughes, yes, I hang out at KTPL, Space Ranger Gaming, how are you doing, Space Ranger? Glad to see you, thank you for joining the stream. Welcome, welcome, my friend, welcome, thank you for joining, we appreciate you being here. So, uh, anyway, on the uh, EFB here, uh, I'm going to go in here, and again, I'm a little funky with this stuff, so, <coughs> excuse me. So the first thing we're gonna do, and let me get back to this, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up um, our PFD and um, or PDF. And so right now, if we go down here, there's fuel. So there's 21.5 and 27.3. Now these are in thousands of pounds, right? So that's 27,300 pounds, 21,500 pounds. Um, and so yeah, I, I, you know, I did 27,300 for the flight um, earlier. Um, but that was, I had way too much fuel still left, so I'm gonna try 21,000, well, I'll just go in between. Let's just do, let's just go for 24,000. So just click in here, Control A, 24,000, and um, so we, we got 24,000, then we wanna go ahead and hit that, and you notice our, our aircraft kinda dipped down a little bit, got a little heavy there. Um, so there we go. We got 24,000 pounds, and then I don't know if that's needed to be done right away at first, friends. But and so once that's done, then we can do our request. We can hit send, and now we we'll notice that the total passengers and rows that they're going to be filled. This is pretty cool. Uh, zero fuel weight, um, center of gravity, zero fuel weight, all that stuff, and then we can hit start boarding. And so now we'll have our passengers uh, coming on board here. So. As they're stepping onto the aircraft, we will continue to get uh, with this. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here. And uh, let's see here. Next thing. And I've got some scribble here. You guys can see I've got I've, I've got some notes. And don't be afraid to take notes. You, you wanna take notes for sure to kind of like remember where you, you know, what you wanna do next and all that good stuff. So we already did the request. Uh, request send, then start boarding. And now we want to do the inet, INET button. See, I know aviation could just fly through this like it's bread, or bread. It's butter, like a hot knife through butter. But so now we're on this INET page, so now we just hit this INET request, and then it uplinks it, and of course it puts all of our stuff in here. 
So that's good to go. Um, and then we want to get our altitude set on the EFIS. And so you wonder, okay, what, how do I know what the what altitude? Oh, I got the thing in, in the way, don't I? But you wonder, like, how do I know what altitude do I need to go? And if we go to summary and fuel, typically it'll be like this. So, you know, 35,000 feet. And so let me go ahead and turn that off so you guys can see. Um, it's 10,000. Okay, thanks, aviation. 10,000 in Australia. Thank you. So now we're going to go over to our EFIS and we're going to go ahead and just plug in 35,000 feet. 35. There we go. 35,000 feet. Pretty easy. <clears throat> and uh, so we got that here, flight level 350. So that's already programmed in there. So you can actually tell from that. You don't even have to go to um, that uh, PDF to look it up. Okay, now once that's set, right arrow. And then we want our uh, our ZFW and, and center of gravity. So that stands for zero fuel weight. So you click it once, it'll put it down in your scratch pad and then you click it again. There you go. And then we'll hit fuel planning, our block fuel 14.7 and we'll confirm that. And uh, we can go over here and hit the fuel and kind of see, all right, we're at 24,000 pounds. Always a good thing to double check that, make sure it's good to go. And we're good there. All right. <clears throat> And we're gonna go back down here and go to flight plan. Now, so here's the other piece. Okay, this is the part, sim fans, that does not have, does not come um, pre-programmed in your MCDU. Why, why is that? So somebody would ask, why isn't that already programmed? Like the SIDS and the STARS, why isn't that? Well, the reason for that is weather changes, as you all know, on a dime. So if weather changes, it could easily change between the time that your like real pilots are like doing their pre-flight briefing um, they're doing all their, they're, they're looking at weather and they're doing all that, but they, I mean, it can literally change between them leaving the um, office or the flight planning room and, and getting onto the aircraft and getting all this stuff, like by the time you walk around the aircraft and you program all this stuff in, winds change frequently, right? So it could be, um, it could have been runway 15, you know, when, when they were planning, but then as soon as they get to the aircraft, now maybe, it, you know, it could be 2-3. Um, so that's essentially why so when you're sitting here and you have the latest weather then you go up here and you go okay ybcs you hit departure and we're going to do uh, runway 15 and um and how do i know that okay let me go ahead and put this back up so we know that because if i go to routing i'm going to look at this line right here so here's this is runway 15 and as you can see this is ybcs so that's cairns and then we're going to be flying to YSSY, which is Sydney, Australia, at 16 right. So that's where I'm getting that from, fans. So now we go there. And the other thing is, there's this transition. So this is your transition for departure when you're on a standard instrument departure. That's Swift, uh, Swift 8 right here. So notice that's here. So now, oops. So notice that is right here. So you have Swift 8. You click on that. Now you see this SID is Swift 8. And then we're going to insert that. Okay, now it's, it's in there. Now the next thing we had to do is our arrival. And we'll get into this discontinuity thing here in a minute. So YSSY, we're gonna click on that and that's our arrival, easy enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and start looking at that. So our arrival is YSSY 16 right at the Bori 3A. And so we're gonna go ahead and get that in there, Simpan. So um, <clears throat> I said 16 right, right? ILS 16 right. Now, Bori 3A, so that's that. Now, we'll notice there's no transition there, but that is your star, that's standard arrival, okay? Now we hit insert, and now we have that, and transition is none, okay? So we click on that, and um, we're good to go. So now we've got everything uh, here. Now, the thing, the next important step that everybody should make sure they don't miss when they're doing this, you don't want any of these FPLNN discontinuities, you wanna get rid of those. How do you get rid of them? Okay, well, all you have to do is hit clear until you have nothing in your scratch pad, okay? So I gotta hit it a couple, I gotta hit it three times, so nothing's there. Then when I hit clear and it says clear, think of clear as delete, and you just click on it. Simply moves that next waypoint up in the list. And, uh, and then you just kinda, I just kinda scroll through these. There's a manual one coming up too. So the other thing is, see, so you got this manual. Now you'll think, okay, Symphonatic, great. Uh, I, I've done that, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit clear. And I'm gonna go up and do flight plan discount and it says not allowed. You're like, WTF, what's going on? Well, you gotta, if you have a manual intersection or waypoint rather, you need to clear that first. So we gotta clear the manual one first 
then we can clear the discontinuity and then we're good to go so um and then i just kind of scroll, scroll through those and see there's the end of plan now the last thing to do see how easy this is guys the last thing to do is hit your button here on the EFIS um panel go to plan and i like to put this at 20 nautical miles now you can see this what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to click this up and watch the aircraft here we're going to just virtually fly this route now notice in what you're looking for is anything that's broken in the flight plan if you have the line just break that's bad or you have something going completely kitty wampus off the chart you know oh that's not good either right so i'm just going to keep hitting this until and this is going to be a pretty easy straight in actually when i was doing a practice flight earlier it was so easy i wasn't like even thinking about slowing down in, in, in aviation i i forgot to hit my approach button <laughs> it's so like why the hell is the aircraft not slowing down um so just but we're gonna have a pretty much straight in for one six right and so once you check all that uh you know you're good you know you're good and so once you do that then you can go ahead and go back up here put it back to arc put this back to 10 and there you have it it's as easy as that sim fans right now if you missed anything feel free to rewind this is all recorded you can go back later and there's a by the way there's a lot of youtubers out there that do a better job than i do on this and explain it more thoroughly more in depth probably do a lot of things that I completely missed. But I get pretty basic with this, but this is gonna get you up in the air and it's gonna get you to your destination. And we'll, we'll talk about top of climb, top of descent here in a little bit. I gotta get caught up here, look at this. Don't forget to have your passengers aboard your aircraft, guys, in the MCDU, yes sir, aviation. Uh, Asa says, okay, Symphonatic, Navigraph subscription info, Na nav data, just data for some brief, and other major add-ons, about $30 US bill. That's 30, yeah, they did change that, thank you, Asus. Uh, ultimate monthly ten dollars us ultimate yearly 85 and by the way the ultimate will come with like all the charts the other cool thing about the a320 is you can have like all the charts from navigraph um i believe isn't it here aviation yeah so you could actually have see authenticate with navigraph so if you have that ultimate subscription you can actually uh see your charts right there in the efb which is pretty damn cool kyle says my green light never comes up on my mfd you have over 10 knot tailwind coming in runway 16 right. I got runway 5 on my sim brief. Oh, really? Interesting. Um, so anyway, so back to this. So that's it. So that's, that's we're not quite done. There's some, um, we need to get our V speeds and stuff in there too. And that's okay. Um, but we're really, I think at this point, we are pretty much ready to continue on with our checklist. So I'm going to, I'm going to continue on here. Um, right here before taxi you can see it okay so uh actually no i'm sorry um pre-startup right here that's on the wrong page <laughs> oh boy okay now we're going to start the apu so the apu stands for auxiliary power unit so if you guys ever hear that fire up that's so you can disconnect from the electrical that's coming along the jetway or plugged into the aircraft um, and since we don't have the engine started right now, we're not getting any generated electricity from that, right? So all of our power right now to run our systems, our avionics, all the air conditioning, the blowers, the cooling the avionics and the passengers in the back, that all needs power, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to the ECAM page, we're gonna click on APU, and you notice that it's not running because we haven't started it yet. So to start it, we go up here and we hit master switch Turn it on. Now, if we look down here, we're waiting for this to say flap open. What does flap open mean? Well, it's just for the exhaust, right? It's so that the APU, when it fires up, we're not all choking um, on the fumes. So now it says flap open. Now we know that's good. So we just go up here and we hit start. And we can go right back down here. And now we'll start, we'll see this baby firing up. And if we go outside, we're gonna hear it. We're gonna start seeing like the uh, light deflection and stuff like that, I think. Thing I love about X Plane, they did that particle system, but I think um, I think Microsoft Flight Simulator is using it too. Yeah, here we can hear it powering up. Can you guys hear it? Hear it powering up? Yeah, yeah, we can see the light diffusing, right, right there. You can kind of see it, maybe a little bit. Are we good on the stream, guys? Um, I, I know old golfer or somebody mentioned uh, or Harry mentioned that there was buffering, so I want to make sure it's not buffering. Are we good? Aces Aviation, Kyle, we good there? Don C, how are you doing, Don? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, Chris Evans. Chris, hello, hello, Chris. Lair, hi, cool shades. <laughs> Thanks, Lair. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. So we're almost there. Uh, we're almost there. 
Okay, so we've got uh, we got to pull away all our uh, junk, right? So we got to get all these vehicles here. Again, this is push pushback toolbar and aces. Thank you, aces. He put a link for this, um, and so we just go up. The, there we go. So we go up here, and then we just simply click fuel, catering, jetway, and baggage, and all that stuff is going to pull away from our airplane. And then we're going to start hearing the doors shutting here in a little bit. And there goes our jetway. Bye bye jetway. Bye bye. All right, we got the APU on. Now we got to do our V speeds. Don't forget to do your V speeds. Uh, Cleveland, how are you doing, Alan? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Intake. Thank you, old golfer. Intake. It's not my. It's not the external. Okay, my bad. Thank you, old golfer. Keeping it real. You guys. You guys. You got to keep me corrected, right? I'll say stuff that isn't right. So I appreciate you uh, mentioning that, old golfer. Intake. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go to perf for performance and the important thing is here like if you click on v1 it's going to say format error well the reason for that is we're going to do flaps one so we're going to go one slash and then we're going to go over here and we'll do one and then you can put this uh temp flex to temp if you don't want to go toga on takeoff i usually don't do that but then once you do that you click once it'll put your uh, scratch pad speed there and click it again 139 VR, that's rotation, and then V2. So you get your V2, uh, V speeds in there, and so once you have that done, now you should be in pretty good shape. Just don't forget to do the V speeds. Um, okay, now th that gets, usually I do that because then by that time I've got the, um, it, now the APU is available, so when this is all in green, it means that we can get power from it now. So I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna go to APU bleed, once that APU bleed is on, now we can turn off the external power and you hear that clicking. So now we just disabled the external power and um, we're going solely off our APU now. And actually I should show this too. So now you can look at this and see that APU is actually um, giving us generated 115 volts, 400 Hertz. And uh, another thing we can do is we can go to electrical and then we can see that the APU is actually right here tying all these uh, direct current powers into um, our systems here so that's kind of neat all right so apu is running external power is off seatbelt sign we need to turn that on i need to do pack x guys I, I really do i haven't done pack x for a while but it's kind of cool because you can hear the stewardess saying everybody set the hell down <laughs> we're gonna get ready to go um, i am gonna fly the full sid kyle i am um, it's pretty fun looking. It is. It's pretty neat. It's a, a pretty neat uh, scenic out of uh, this airport. Um, air conditioning is going. Uh, so now we got the windows and doors. We want to lock our cockpit door. So listen to this. Got the, the cockpit door for safety. And now we got to turn all our fuel pumps on. So we're going to go up here and you just want to click all of these off. Remember, we don't want any kind of light showing. When we're ready to leave, there shouldn't be anything illuminated. If there's something illuminated, it means there's something not quite right. Fuel pumps are on now. Beacon. We'll go ahead and turn the beacon on. By the way, one of the things they still haven't fit. Well, I haven't tried it since the latest update. Um, maybe aviation. Maybe it works now. Um, but I've got the alpha flight controls, guys. And um, if I use, it works for some things and not for others. So I just leave it alone. Otherwise, it makes it a mess. So I don't even use the alpha flight controls. For, um, for the lights and stuff. Obviously, I use the Alpha Bravo Quadrant for all for everything. But now we can see that uh, the beacon's flashing, okay? So now we're ready for pushback. So we go back here, go to pushback. I think everything's disconnected. So we go start pushback, and that's gonna get our tug ready to um, connect to the front landing gear, the nose gear, and uh, get us started on being pushed back here. Transpiders, uh, actually, this is something new too, aviation, that I hadn't had to do before. And I'm like, why do I still have, why do I have this error message? Um, but if we go down here, now we need to turn this to auto. So we hit that to auto. Um, I was getting an ECAM error or alert, I guess, not an error really, um, before when I practiced flight, and that was something new, probably from the latest dev. 
Uh, so we got the transponder and auto, TCAS is already at standby, and clock at run. So I'm just going to go here, and we go up to the clock. That's right here. Just click it on run, so we know now the, the timer's kind of started, the clock started. All right, so that's going. And I think we can start pushing back, friends. Uh, engine mode at start. So let's get that set. So it's right down here. You want this to start. It's on start. And now, friends, um, we're going to go ahead and disable the parking brake. And we're gonna go ahead and do reverse. And there we go. And it looks like Kyle's already going back. And then let's get this engine started. And let's listen to it. Sounds so good. Look at Aviation Spotter and Kyle. How cool is this, guys? Look at Kyle's rolling back. Oh, beautiful, nice timing, guys. Yeah, look at old golfer, too. Hear those babies spool up. Ugh, love that. Oh, we got somebody in a, um, was that a, oh, it looks, it looks like a Cessna citation, right? Uh, it's so sexy. Oh, God, we got a lot of people here. As usual, homies in the house. <laughs> All right, now we can stop pushback. All right, now of course we want to put on our parking brake again, and uh, there he goes. Ah, oh, God, I love that sound. It's so realistic sounding, I love it. Chris Evans, that's me, awesome, Chris. Don't know how to fly the big jets yet. Well, actually, after tonight, you do now, right? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Chris, that's great to see you, man. So now if we look up here, um, the generator light, notice Gen 1 is off, is on fault because it's not, there's no power. But now our Gen 2 is off, and if we go down here, once again, look at the electrical now, friends. Um, Gen 2 is producing electricity, right? But Gen 1 isn't. See, it's all zeroed out there, okay? So that means it must be time to turn on Engine 1. Okay, here we go. I love the sound, too, so I'm going to quickly switch. Here we go. Love that. Usually at this point in time, because I have hydraulics, I'll go ahead and I'll test the speed brakes. Uh, test my ailerons, deflectors. They're actually not called ailerons on this. Here we go. Hear that baby fire up. Look at those clouds, gosh dang. So, uh, one of the things, even though I do have the 3070 Ti, I have my new build, and I have, <coughs> excuse me, and I do have um, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, um, for general aviation flying, I, I put it on ultra for everything. For this, I put it on very high, um, just because of the CPU, it's the DirectX 11, actually, that holds it up, but also the extra si CPU cycles on this. I, I tend to get like 50 frames per sec per second rather than 30 some, so just to keep it smoother. Plus, I'm running OBS, you know, part of the overhead. So, anyway, I'm rambling. So we got the Gen One off. Okay, now if we look back down here again, now we should see that we have power from Gen One and Gen Two. So what that means is we can go ahead and turn off the APU bleed and the master switch. Okay, so notice we still have power because. The beauty of the Airbus is it's so smart, it switches everything over. Uh, in our engine mode selector, don't forget to do that. We're gonna go ahead and turn that back to normal. And there we have it. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the page. Now before taxi, we're gonna have auto brake is set to max. So that's just over here. And that means if, if we um, abort the takeoff, it's just, we don't even have to think to press the brakes, guys. It just happens. Um, and we gotta do our spoilers. Uh, so we arm our spoilers, our flap we want to take off position, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that at one. There we go. Engine and ice I don't think we're going to have to worry about. Rudder trim, don't have to worry about. Steering pin, don't have to worry about. Nose uh, light, so we got to do that. So we're going to go up here. Going to go ahead and turn on to taxi. Uh, runway turn off lights, that is this right here. So we got those on. Uh, strobes we want to set to auto. I'll use my um, scroll wheel to do that. 
and take off configuration. So we're just gonna go down here and click that TO, and then that'll bring our ECAM to kind of do the checks here, okay? And now we're ready to uh, taxi to one-way one five. I'm gonna take off from one five, guys. I don't know what you guys are gonna do, but I already have everything programmed for one five. So if I have a tailwind, I have a tailwind, I guess. So here we go. And we've got track IR. Beautiful. And of course, you guys need to take off before me. So I hope you go to runway 15 as well. Because um, I want to see you guys take off. If you guys are ready. <laughs> that is. <laughs> of course. Looks like aviation is ready. We got a traffic jam! We got a jet star rolling over a, a Cessna. <laughs> oh boy. Look at all these big birds. These big birds. How's it looking, Sim fans? Those of you that aren't flying but are flying with me tonight, how's the how's the stream looking? Is it looking good? So I got a static IP address. I've got Metronet, it's fiber. I've got one gig up and down, but I was running into issues with uh, drop packets and that, and only stability was about 12,000, 15,000 kbps. Um, I'm now getting double that, and I do believe YouTube must be throttling it based on my resolution output, but I'm now up to 25 and 30,000. Um, so I'm happy about that. Plus uh, Plex server is now in HD too, because I went ahead and set port, what's called port forwarding which many of you probably know um so now i got the high def on that too um so i am going to go ahead and rock on over to runway 15 and uh i'm gonna hold short kyle i'm gonna let you go ahead of me um so and and, and whoever's behind you i'll let you all go uh ahead of me because uh we can watch you all take off which is kind of neat to see If you guys want to go ahead. Awesome. Awesome. Blossom. <laughs> I'm, and this is a good opportunity for me to go ahead and go into my drone camera because I love it so much. Ah, uh, shit. No, I, I can't do the drone camera because I'll mess up my, uh, my wing view. That's okay. Look at you guys. Pretty maids all in a row. Who's that Who's that over there in that uh, Cessna? I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, oh, they're going. All right, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna wait. I gotta see who all, who this all is. Let me, um, let me go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and do external because I gotta see you guys. I wanna see you guys. The hell? Oh, here. Call showcase. I would just want regular drone. Camera drone. There we go. Does this work now? Yeah, okay. There we go. <whistles> Look at you guys. Wow. Is that beautiful or what? Look at that river. Ah! God, that looks good. Look at all you guys. And we are going to have to back taxi too. <laughs> so this could take a while. I'll screenshot that shit. Screenshot! Got it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on nameplates too, guys, just for now, and then I'll turn them back off before takeoff, but we gotta we gotta see who's with us. Right? Gotta see who's with Symphonatic. Wh which Sim fans are with Symphonatic? Oh my god! Look at all of you, another screenshot. I love that I can just take hit the button. We've got old golfer, we've got uh, Tyson uh can't read that. Um Munrox? Um, and it looks like he's, you got planes on top of each other. Uh, Kyle, flame too high, flame too high. How are you doing, buddy? Reaper one, ISU fan for life. And I gotta get the hell caught up here. <laughs> I gotta get caught up, friends. All right, let me get caught up.
I just went the wrong way. <laughs> I just went the. I just went the wrong way. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm all so disoriented because I was like looking at all of you guys and I got myself disoriented I'm like wait where did everybody go oh I went the wrong way stupid there we go <laughs> okay I'll get myself un unglued here in at any point in time guys that won't be the first mistake by me by the way I'll guarantee that <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you for mentioning that, Alan, because what I'm going to do before I take off is I'm going to go to Sim Toolkit because I forgot to show you guys something. Um, I'll show you really quick once I get over here with all you guys. i got to get a, a snapshot of this because everybody's like, together, everyone's together, looking good. Look at that Frontier livery by Tyson. Wow, look at that. That's pretty sweet. All right, let me get in position here. Oh, my God, look at all of these commercial air... It's like a frickin', we, we, we're like taking like a whole load of people, right? There must be some sort of event. All right, well, let me uh, jump out. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get a screenshot of that, got it. Um, and then, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and get, let me go and zoom over here, because there's old golfer and them. Another screenshot, and we'll probably back, back we probably don't need to back taxi, but it might be a good idea. One more screenshot. And then I'm gonna turn off the, um, let me quickly turn off the um, nameplates, guys, so that I can get it without the nameplates because it's kind of neat. Off, save, and uh, there we go. And so I'm gonna get another one. There goes Tyson. Very cool. Snap that, got it. I want to get a close up of everybody. Like, look at this. Oh shit, that's so cool. That. Glad I have a lot of memory. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and get you guys too. See, it looks so aviation. Look, it looks like that windsock. We should be taking off a one five. I don't know. One more uh, screenshot. Okay, guys, now we can go ahead and get ourselves together and go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit five to get myself unscrewed. I'm going to go back in and get my camera set to 17. And there we go. Now I'm good. Okay, so one of the things I didn't show you guys, I'm going to show you really quick, is um, Sim Toolkit Pro. So if you, are, if you have Sim Toolkit Pro, the other cool thing about this is you can actually load a flight that you've already had. So if I got flight plan already here, I can go load from SimBrief right here. So check this out. Um, actually, I want to connect it first. One of the things you do need to do is connect it to your flight simulator. So connect to Sim, connect to M MFS. Now I'm connected. Remember to do that, because if you don't do that, it's not going to work. Go to flight planning. Now I can go load from SimBrief. And there's my route, okay? And then I just hit fly now. And then it's gonna, actually this has all the charts and it has your waypoints and everything here. So, and then of course, uh, there's our aircraft right there. So pretty damn cool. All right. All right, guys, go ahead and turn that off. All right, now I'm just gonna sit back and watch you guys take off. Short round, how you doing short round? Good to see you. Alan says, stream has been awesome so far. Awesome, Alan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, we got 25 watching now. 26 watching. Thank you, guys. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you. Old Golfer 67 is taking off. Look at this. Oh, my God. There's a lot of aircraft here. Look at this. All these commercial birds. Here we go. Old Golfer. Old Golfer. Old Golfer's taking off. Can we see him? I can't see him. I got shit in the way. I got planes in the way. <laughs> There he goes. Here goes old Gopher. Look at that Jetstar livery too, guys. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at you, old Gopher, taking off. Woo! See if I can see him. I I'm going to go outside. Like I'm going to just look right here, right? Because I'm using track IR. I can do this. Beautiful takeoff. Oh, it looks good, old Gopher. Nice job. Nice job. All right. 
Who's taking off next? Limbo Gaming! Yo, what's up, man? Limbo Gaming, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, Limbo. Thanks for joining. Don C says, I've got to learn that program. You do, Don. You've got to do it. I'm a big fan of Sim Toolkit Pro, but as uh, Aviation said, he doesn't use it. It's not required by any means. I love it, though. I would I would highly recommend it. It's it's just it's a pretty pretty cool thing. And I'll, I'll get into like top of descent and top of climb because so far, and when are you going to get that programmed into the fly by wire aviation spotter? The top of climb and top of descent, like the Zebo, we need it. Lucio Elpana says hello, hello to you, hello to you, Lucia. Is it Lucio, Lucio? I am the I'm horrible guys at uh, pronunciations. Those of you that uh, follow me know this very well. I will butcher anybody's name, <laughs> even ones that I shouldn't. Lucia says I I like so much your channel. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I do this because, well, because it's damn fun and I look at this we're building this community together and uh, because of people like you um, appreciate that Lucio am I pronouncing your name right correct me if I'm if I'm not these guys uh, see the thing about it is like the sim fans are are going to correct me and it's cool it's cool I don't get I don't get I don't take it personally ah, sometimes I'm, I'm a little sensitive but I I, I, uh, I do appreciate getting in check and, and it's good that you guys check me up Every so often. Montgomery Skinner! What? Nope, never mind. <laughs> damn it. Damn spam. These people with their damn spams. Their spams. What I wish I heard, though, is like more jet sounds. Um, you know, when, when people are taking off. I mean, there's a little bit of it, but, you know, it, it just it needs to be better than that. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're six for departure. We got uh, who's behind us here <laughs> in the little airplane. Get some tunes going. While we wait for these these guys to take off, we got somebody up there. They're they're going through all their checks. Let's give them some time, guys. I'm trying to think who it. Oh, there he goes. He's rolling. He's a rolling, 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 rolling. The flop happened to my music. What? That was weird. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Aviation Spotter. Aviation Spotter taking off. With that sexy American Airlines livery. Look at that roll. Ah, uh, look at him take off like a pro. Look at that. There he goes, friends. All right. Woo! Time to start moving. Time to start moving. My Sim Fan family with all these big jets. I have my. I was. I wondered that too, Aces. Probably a fighter jet, right? Uh, Kyle says, I've completed my checklist. Chumps. <laughs> Kyle's like ready, guys. He's just ready to go. Woo! Look at that. I mean, you want to talk about some beautiful scenery, guys. Look at that. Look at those mountains over there off to the left. Mm -mm -mm. Loving it. Now who's that taking off? Who's who's uh who's back taxiing right now? Lucio says hola. Vamos a bugar a todos así. <laughs> Not sure what that means, I'm, and I'm sure I didn't pronounce that right either. I am sure I did not pronounce that right either. Is that music too loud, guys, or is it all right? How to play in the live? Um, so, Lucio, all you gotta do, let me turn this down a little bit. 
Um, Lucia, all you gotta do is make sure you're on the East USA um, server. So if I go out here, um, you can see that I'm on East USA and we're all on East USA. Look for Symphonatic 3334. And you can spawn right on me and uh, be flying live, buddy. 15 hours to take off. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> A little bit loud? Okay, I gotta turn down Aces. Thank you, buddy. Hopefully, that, is that better? Is that better, Aces? And I wanna know when Aces, what the hell are you going to be flying? I mean, you already flew this with aviation, right? You should be in here flying these. Don't worry about being perfect. God knows I'm not perfect. I'm like the farthest thing from perfect on this Aces. If I can do it, you can do it. Right, buddy? Guys, I'm thinking, I think um, Aces needs to be doing this next time. Look at that, look at that. Cessna taking off. Oh, beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, look at that. Oh my God, what just happened? <laughs> somebody's, somebody's playing around. Somebody just flipped. Somebody just flipped. I hope that wasn't any of you. Hope that wasn't any one of you. All right. Here we go. Aces, is that all right on the music now? Does it sound all right? Is it too loud still? I don't know what happened back there. All right, now while that uh, aircraft is back taxiing, I'm gonna go ahead, everybody, and um, get myself ready for this before takeoff, okay? Cabin crew is notified, so, um, and we need to go sterile cockpit. That's always important, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the music. Music cut. And we're gonna notify our cabin crew. Five minutes, please prepare for takeoff. Cabin crew is notified. Um, and then lights. We're gonna get all the lights on, so we gotta get our wing lights, our takeoff lights. Uh, strobes are on. Um, and then we want takeoff for our nose gear. And uh, that should be good. Uh, strobes auto, parking brake, and all that good stuff. Okay, cabin cruiser notified. Siri lights, nose wheel light, TCAS. Um, of course, we gotta send our TCAS. What is TCAS, guys? Anybody know what TCAS stands for? We're gonna go ahead and do T A R A on TCAS. Then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go ahead and PWS. Uh, prediction wind shear is what that stands for. And then even though this is an operative, we're gonna go ahead and turn our weather on. Um, and then uh, we also need to turn on a chromometer. So we turn that on. And then I, there's another one too right here that I usually do when I'm, I'm like actually taking off. TCAS is traffic collision avoidance, avoidance system. I think it's system, S is system. All right guys, uh, so as soon as this, um, as soon as this aircraft takes off, we're next. Asa says, might be just me, but still seems a touch loud, but your voice is over the music, but maybe a tiny bit lower. Okay, buddy. Thank you. I will... Well, it stopped because I did the um, cockpit as... But I'll uh, get that adjusted a little bit. Thank you, Asus. Appreciate it. Lucio says, it has an error. He has an error. Ooh. Yeah, you know, that's something that does happen. Um, somebody, somebody just... Uh, that sucks, Lucio. Sorry to hear that. By the way, guys, if you um, if you're joining, please subscribe. We do this frequently, and it's a, a every flight is a community flight. It's almost like you know we do fly in where we jump on Discord voice. We have a Discord server. Check that out, by the way. Um, but uh, every flight um, is basically a fly in. You know, we all fly together, so it's 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 just such a cool thing. All right, those two aircraft taking off. Let's go ahead and uh, look out our window so we can see them take off. That's a beautiful sight. All right, finally time for uh, for us to take off. Those of you that are with me, um, that are flying with Symphonatic here, now it's our turn, right? Now it's our turn. Think I can get you guys off safe? I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. We'll see, we'll see. Limbo Gaming, I, I subbed when I hopped on the... Oh yes, that was you, thank you buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That, um, let's see. 
That was uh, Peter. Peter, thank you, sir. Appreciate the sub. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, we got somebody that just... Uh, <laughs> so is that an F-A-18? Yeah, it looks like it. Somebody spawned right, right ahead of us, friends. All right. Uh, we'll have that F-A-18 take off. Maybe. And then we're going to just follow this yellow brick road right here, this yellow line, and get ourselves turned around. And uh, whoever's in the F-A-18 now gets spotlighted. And we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll feel their jet wash as <laughs> they, uh, they pull off here and thrust out. We'll give them a second. I don't know if they're in the stream, so it's like sometimes, but it, you know, it might be somebody that's in the stream, might be somebody that's not in the stream. I'll give the, this guy that's in the F-A-18 just a couple more seconds. And if, if uh, he or she doesn't take off, we're going to take off, friends. Alan says, that is me. I am your escort. Oh, cool. Boy, I thought, Alan, for a second, I might have broke uh, broke something. I'd have to call uh, the tower. <laughs> You're going to escort me? All right. That sounds awesome, buddy. That's awesome. Well, Alan, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so we got our uh, takeoff. So now we're going to do the chron chronometer. So we're going to click that, and that's going to put our thing down there and brakes and we're gonna go ahead and go so guys parking brake is off track IR is enabled we're gonna go ahead and let the engine stabilize 40 57 looks good here we go toga Usually you want to put a little forward pressure until you hit 80 knots, and you can take that off. I forgot to do it, by the way. B1, rotate. B2. Here we go. Pause the rate of climb. Gear up. And again, bank left. Thank you, Lucio. Appreciate that, my friend. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty. It's pretty. Now lever to climb. So just take our thrust down. We'll keep accelerating, uh, pull our uh, slats out. We do have one notch in, by the way. Get onto that course line. All right, now we're on a course line. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to enable autopilot. So we're just gonna go over here and hit AP1. And uh, and then we gotta remember, don't forget to watch this right here. So where that says S, you wanna pull, uh, take your flaps out. All right, and we're just about there. And now we hit S. Go ahead and pull those flaps out and uh, continue to climb on out now at this point guys i like to set my um, range to 40 on the left mfd and on the right mfd i like to set that at 80. that's a personal preference you guys do what you want and uh look at that guys beautiful clouds right i'm looking for uh
Who am I looking for? I'm looking for Alan Cleveland. Alan, you were in the F-18, right? Not seeing you. Guys, that's pretty much... I mean, at, at this point... Um, transition is 10,000 uh, as Aviation Spider. Thank you, Aviation, for looking that up. Uh, so at 10,000 feet, that'll be transition altitude. So then you go to your standard pressure. Um, and so that'll be, I think, a down click on that um, once we hit 10,000. Yep, just in front of you. Okay. I'm looking for you, buddy. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing you. Where'd you go? See, that's what happens when I turn nameplates off. I can't see sh nothing. I must said a naughty word. Uh oh. Hey, Super Tech just subscribed. Super Tech, thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Simfan family. Super Tech, thank you so much for joining. Glad to have you here, my friend. Thank you so much. Love that sound, too. Aviation hears that, sp that sound all the time. By the way, again, congratulations, Aviation Spotter. He hit 500 subs recently. That is so cool. Aviation Spotter. Uh, Super Tech, once again, thank you, Super Tech. Super Tech, do you build computers? Super Tech probably builds computers. We're going to talk about building computers here in, in a little bit. Thank you for joining, buddy. All right, guys. So we're at 10,000. So a few things we're going to do. We're going to do standard uh, pressure. And so we're going to click that down, so that's standard. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off our uh, landing lights, our nose light, our runway turnoff lights, and our wing lights. Okay, all those are going to go off. And uh, we're going to continue to climb out. Aviation, I'm actually, um, I'm surprised that you use uh, a paper checklist. That makes me feel good. Oh, there he is! <laughs> There is Alan. I saw you, Alan. Just jump up there. Melbourne, 1993. How many people are COVID positive on your flight today? Everybody. <laughs> Welcome, Melbourne. Melbourne, are you in Australia, my friend? With a name like that, I gotta believe you are. This is beautiful country, friends. We're gonna fly over some reef. It just, uh, I, I did a practice flight earlier today, and it just, it looked absolutely fantastic really really cool to see <laughs> probably not at this point aviation doesn't even use a checklist <laughs> aviation doesn't need a checklist fans I strive to get to their aviation I strive to get it to the point where I can just not use a checklist Look at that great, so you can see that Great Barrier Reef over, no, I don't know if it's, it's not the Great Barrier Reef, excuse me, but you can see there's reef and the light blue, it's kind of like over here. Can you guys see my mouse cursor? I don't even know, maybe you can't see my mouse cursor. <laughs> Harry, Harry said aviation, he hopes you know, you, you know where you're going because he's following you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's good stuff. Aces, you're right. Well, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna scold aviation, but you know, he, he you know, it, it, I'm sure he would use a checklist if he was flying for real. There'd be a lot of things that I do fly for real. It's been a while, but I do a lot differently when I fly for real, friends. When I fly a real aircraft, um, you guys probably wouldn't even believe it was me because I'm like very meticulous about following everything everything to a T. You've watched that you those of you that have been watching this channel, I bet you wouldn't believe it, but it's true. I've very methodical and by the book. But I have fun with you guys, so I can that's a beautiful thing about simming, right? Yeah, I see I saw that coming. Aviation you knew that was coming. I almost said it, but I'm like, I don't need to say it because I know Ace as well. <laughs> I don't even need to say it. Well, now that we're in the air, some fans, we no longer need to have the sterile cockpit so we can get our tunes going once again. Aces, let me know. Does this sound all right? Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to start dancing. 
We will lose subs left and right if I start doing that, right? You guys have seen me dance. I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> Chris Evans, definitely on a different flight pl uh, path than you guys. More direct. You guys went out over the water. I'm over land. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're following the uh, standard uh, instrument departure, um, Chris. And so that is why, my friend. All right, Aces. Thank you, buddy. But look at that. See this, guys? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Blue like blue. So here, true story. True story, Sim fans. So my wife and I went to St. John's. So in the Caribbean. And when we were at the Caribbean, there was a, there was a lady, bless her heart. Um, and we were like by some of those turquoise blue waters, kind of like you see off in the distance there. And I, I'm not, sh I, I kid you not. She asked the tour guide if he had a jar so she could like dip the jar in the water because she thought the water looked so beautiful she wanted to take it home. And everybody thought she was kidding. She was dead serious. She thought the water was actually that color. True story, I'm not shitting you at all. That is, it's a true story. We're gonna go ahead and disable the Bravo cam for now because it's just in the way. We're not gonna be touching it for a while. So we'll just put that baby away. I'm gonna listen to the audio here quick. Well, this sounds pretty good, Aces. Okay, so for those of you that just joined us, thank you for joining, by the way, first and foremost. Um, but the other thing is, you guys that are like uh, talking about, well, I don't know how to fly these birds, just go back to the beginning of this video and watch some other YouTube streams. Uh, because there's a lot of explaining, but really what I just went through for the most part I didn't show you how to get you know signed in to uh, get the um, Your sim brief code put into air uh, the Airbus here, but it's super easy But just go back to the beginning and just follow what I went through That's all you have to do and look at we're flying we're airborne. It's as easy as that. It really is not difficult It's I mean I get it. It seems overwhelming. It seems kind of um look at that guys. That's so cool. I wish I could go down there and scuba. I really do. How many of you have been scuba? Um, or snorkeling? Scuba? Snorkeling. Who's that? Oh, that's, uh, yeah. But yeah, definitely um, check out the beginning. But like, look at this. It's beautiful. Alan Cleveland back there giving us, providing us an escort. As good as he is, fans. Oh, we got to go down here. Oh, we're done with our coffee. Let's get rid of that. I drank it all. Now we're gonna get into this here in a, in, in a, in a, in a bit to uh, calculate our top of descent. Anybody know it? Uh, you guys all, a lot of you that are flying with me right now know what top of descent means. Top of climb. <laughs> Luchos, I'm looking at you. I'm a Boeing 747. Where are you? There he goes, Alan. Not seeing you, are you above me? I love the underside of this. I like the underbelly, the undercarriage, if you will. I'm not seeing you, Lucio. Where, that, where are you? Gotta love the sound of that thing. Ah! Love it. Love that sound. Hundred miles out with open descent work for me. Awesome. I did 120, Kyle. That's what I'm, I mean. I'm probably planned for about 120, maybe, maybe 117. So guys, we're climbing to 350, flight level 350, 35,000 feet. Uh oh. <laughs> it just says I don't have fuel. Oh, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Speaking of fuel. Let's go ahead and go to flight plan there, and then let's go to our fuel page. Um, aviation, why is this? I noticed this happening, is that a bug? Because I noticed that during my pre my, my test flight, the 416's maxed out and, and, and blinking here. Is that a, I hope that's a bug. Do you know what that is? Because that doesn't seem like that should be right. 
So I'm chalking that up as a bug or something. I mean, I did a flight earlier and I didn't crash, so. But uh, there's our fuel, friends. Let me know, aviation, if you know what that is. I have 1% fuel. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, we need to clean this aircraft up, though, by the way, guys. I forgot to turn off the uh, spoiler, so we'll, dis we'll disarm that. So that's done. Um, barometers is standard. Landing lights, wing lights, seat belts as required. I think we're good. That's it, guys. I mean, that's like, that's all there is to it. We're flying. I mean, I get it. It, it seems overwhelming, but it really is pretty damn easy. But what, what I would recommend to you guys is just do it, right? Just be Nike. Just do it. Just get get yourself in the A320. Get Sorry. Get the A320, get the development edition. That's what I'm flying tonight. The fly by wire, it's free. Kind of like those of you that do X-Plane and love the Zebo. Just get it and do it, guys. And gals, just get out there and do it. You know, if you if you keep thinking, you know what, I don't know how to do it, just who cares? Go in and try. And if you crash, you crash. It's not like you're doing a live stream like me, or maybe you are, where everybody's gonna get, you know, give you shit if you do crash, which is part of the fun, right? Honestly. That's what I would say. I'd just say do it. Just just try it. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, Aces? What are you waiting for, Aces? It's time you get in this bird and start flying it. I know you can, brother. Look at those clouds, guys. It's like a bunch of cotton. Look at gorgeous. Just simply gorgeous. Let's go to the other wing. See, I like this wing because you can see this view, because you can see, um, kind of the terrain and everything. Not that there's terrain, because <laughs> there's terrain right now. <clears throat> a lot of water. Um, Harry W says, flying is the easy part. Working the avionics is what I have not yet figured out. Well, yes, but that's why you got to keep practicing. Jay Guthrie, you're awesome, Jay. Thank you. No, Jay, I'm going to tell you right now, you're awesome, buddy. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for joining. Appreciate you being here, Jay. Welcome to the Symphonag channel with all of us. There's a lot of people that are flying the commercial aircraft tonight. We've got Kyle in the aircraft. We've got Aviation Spotter in the aircraft. We've got, uh, God, we've got everybody in here. Um, Lucio had a problem, but he, he's there. Old Golfer 67 up in the air. Um, of course, we, you know, we've got, uh, who else is up in the air with us? There's all kinds of Harry W. Are you in the, are you in the air, Harry? No, you're not in the air, I don't think. Alan Cleveland is giving us an escort with the FA-18, because he's so damn cool like that. Limbo Gaming, I don't know. Limbo, are you in here? I thought Limbo might be in here. Might be a new person. Tommy Hughes, are you, Tommy, Tommy, where the hell are you? Are you in here, Tommy? Jay Guthrie, true I am. Yes, sir, you are, in fact. Jay, you are awesome. Every one of you are awesome, friends. Every one of you. Shift E to start up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's true. The good old Shift E. Ignite the engines and go, right? Yeah. Harry's flying. Awesome, Harry. <sighs> so delicious. Why does beer have to be so good, guys? Why? Kyle, why is beer so good? And why does why does uh, bourbon have to be so damn good? I can't resist. Nope, oh, we're doing a turn. Uh, look at that, guys. Here, let's turn on the track IR. Look at that. And the, the cool thing about this is, like, that is really there. I mean, if you think of latitude and longitude, that is actually, if we were flying this right now, right now, looking down, we would see that very thing. 
I would love to go snorkeling there. Or maybe I wouldn't. I'd probably get eaten by a great white shark. <laughs> but it's so damn cool. Kyle's dry tonight? Kyle, what are you doing? Dry? How dare you? How dare you? Lucio says, are you drinking Coca-Cola? Um, I do. I mean, Lucio, I love a nice Diet Coke, man. There's nothing like... Ah, uh, love that Diet Coke. Oh, it's so delicious. Although I occasionally will put... I won't waste, like, good bourbon on it, but I'll put a little Evan Williams. It's like a little bit of Evan Williams in it. Oh, it's good stuff. But even Diet Coke by itself is great. Oh, golfer, I'd like to do a cage dive. Shit. <laughs> I wouldn't... I mean, that would be pretty intense, dude. But it's kind of like my wife. She she would actually... She would like to do... Um, she would like to do a tandem jump. Um, and I don't... I wouldn't do that. I, I, I always say, why jump out of a perfectly good flying airplane? Right, guys? Why fly out of a perfectly good airplane? Fly out of? Jump out of. But she will do it. I'm sure she'll do it at some point. Tommy Hughes taking a quick nap. Tommy, welcome back, my friend. Welcome back. Tommy, what did you think of the MBXT that I sent you a link on, on the build? That's a way to do it. I, um, you know, I had problems. I had a dead on arrival, so I just built my computer from scratch. Um, old Golfer 67, you had near, it wasn't quite a dead on arrival, but pretty much that. And then you got a local computer um, built, which is smart, but I think the MBXT... By the way, guys, if you haven't uh, joined our Discord server, check. Nightbot's got a link to the Discord server. We've got all kinds of stuff in there, guys. We've got troubleshooting. We've got stuff on announcements on hardware, building your own computer. There's a lot of tech guys in here. I'm one of them. Um, so definitely check that out. But, uh, you know, software reviews, freeware, all kinds of stuff. You do need to check out Discord. Um, that Discord server is a great place where we can all chat outside of the live streams, which is awesome. But, yeah. Tommy, definitely check out the MVXT because if Jay's Two Cents plugs it, it's got to be good. Now, I can't vouch for it, but I would vouch for Jay's Two Cents. So if he says it's good, it's got to be good. Old Golfer says, next one will be the end. Yeah, man. I mean, don't you wish you would have done that before? That wasn't a bad price, right, Old Golfer? Because I was looking at, like, the Streamer Pro edition of the build. Um, and it had it has the same processor I have on my new build. It has the AMD Ryzen uh, 7 5800X. It's got a 3080 Ti, which I know old call for you actually in your original build bought that. Um, 32 gigs of memory. It had an AL AIO chiller. Um, <clears throat> it had a it had an okay case. Now, granted, I spent about $2,500 when all was said and done, but I do have. I love the case. I've, I've got the Corsair 4000X which has the glass panel. The D has the, the, the mesh front with more airflow. All RGB. I've got the um, Corsair H100i uh, all-in-one uh, cooler for the CPU. Again, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. Uh, I've got the 3070Ti, um, the Asus Tough Edition, which I love because it has the um, metal, it has a metal bracket on the top and bottom, so it reduces the sag, but I did, I did get a, uh, a support bracket for that card because Guys, those cards are so big and heavy. You don't want to have that triangular um, motion and pivot on it, which is adding a lot of weight to your uh, PCI Express port or slot. And so I do. I definitely recommend adding some. Uh, it's not necessary. I mean, it's like, like you, if you don't have it, don't be like, oh shh, oh no, my card's gonna break. No, but I would. I would recommend if you're thinking of building and stuff. It's like one I got was like 18 bucks, maybe 15 bucks, and it's well worth it. Definitely pick that up. Uh, Old Golfer 67, that was a good price. Wish I had seen it first. Yeah, sorry I was late on that, Old Golfer. I, I wish I would have seen it first too, man. I'm just a little bit late because that would have been awesome. Because if you would have if you would have got that, it would have been so cool to have you take pictures and post it in our Discord server so we can see as you built it. That would have been so neat to see. Well, next time, bud. Next time. Short round says, I've jumped out of a plane once, gave me the worst earache I've ever had. Ooh. That sounds nasty. It's no fun. Uh, Don C, hate to tell you something, Fanatic, but on the news tonight, there was a skydiving accident where it was a tandem jump. Typically, those are first time jumper. Ooh, really? Um, did they. 
did did they die or did they just get hit hurt severely, Don? That sucks. Lou Show says if you have a smooth buttery, why sub and donation one dollars? <laughs> Old golfer sixty seven. Um, oh, I already read that one. Don C, I made two jumps back before tandems, static line jumps. Wow. Cal says time to sit back and relax. I agree, Kyle. As a matter of fact, my orange whip is, uh... Some might be optimistic and say this is a glass completely empty that could be filled. Others might say that are pessimistic, this is a glass completely empty and I'm out of beer. <laughs> old golfer! Oh my god, old golfer! What are you doing? Old God for 67 dropping the $20 dono. Old God for 67 thank you so much. Old God for says, for all you do for us. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Old God for 67 Hey, guys in chat, say thank you, Old Golfer, because I'll take that 20 and I'll put it back in. We're going to have to do a giveaway sometime soon. Um, I need to, I'm, I do, I've been saving up, guys. I haven't spent it. Old God for, again, thank you so much. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you, sincerely, so much. Thank you so much. Uh, but I do put that back in, but I'm kind of building it up because I, I'm trying to figure out because like between you, old golfer, um, I know that Javier has contributed, um, Don C has contributed, a lot of you guys have contributed um, to to the stream. And I just, again, want to say Silver Killer, Silver Killer dropped in $20 recently and multiple times. I'm kind of building it up because I'm either going to buy something harder to do review for all of you or maybe do a software giveaway, something. Um, but I do take that money, guys, and put it back into the channel for all of you. And um, so when you're giving it to the stream, you're not giving it to me. You're actually giving it to the community here. Um, you are helping me, obviously, because I've done a lot of out-of-pocket. I mean, I've spent thousands upon thousands of dollars on gear. <laughs> um, and my new Elgato camera, my Elgato back uh, green screen, my the microphone that, uh, of course, drives... This thing drives aviation. No. Aces, nuts, not aviation. We'll put that back there. It only drives me nuts when I have that little, it looks like a little bug on your screen, like that. I should just leave that there for him, guys, driving crazy. We'll put that out of the way. But I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys, thank you so much. I mean, okay, so um, at this point, guys, uh, Kyle says, you should see how much I spent last year in film gear. <laughs> oh, man, I bet. Kyle, it's probably... But what I spend on, on all my stuff for my studio and that, I bet is a drop in the bucket, my friend, compared to what the hell you spend. So, guys, this is um, my studio. Speaking of studio, some of you have seen it. Um, that's actually an older picture. I've got a newer picture. Uh, but I try to do a lot of cable management. Like, I, I'm a big fan of Jay's Two Cents, and he gets on everybody's case if they don't do good cable management. But um, actually, that's an old shot because that's my old my old rig there with the purple. So that's an old old picture. But I mean, it still kind of looks the same. But I've got my new my new PC there. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm liking it. I've got the room finished off and got my box light over here. I've got some things in mind too to to improve it. I need to get a, uh, uh, a wireless microphone with a condenser because then when I can do like, and if you guys are wondering why I haven't done the review on the TPR pedals yet, because I want to actually do a, a review where I have a good lighting, a good microphone. I don't have a good condensed microphone because it like, I've, I've done some videos and you've seen it. It sounds like, like shit because it's like, it sounds like echoey and horrible because I'm not using, I'm, I'm not using my, um, Blue Yeti microphone. I'm using like, well, I'm kind of using it, but it's capturing it from the sound and echoes. But I'm gonna get a uh, wireless mic, and once I get that, get the sound perfected, I'll, I'll do some uh, product reviews, hardware reviews, and that, um, you know, with some good lighting and stuff. I'm, I'm waiting for that. So that's why I haven't done the TPR yet. I'll do the TPR soon, though, guys. Ace is down. Read my previous comment. Looking for a question, a reminder of question from Jay Guthrie. Uh. <laughs> I do, Jared, but you should hear from him. Wait, uh, okay, let me see. Boy, it must be uh, up above quite a ways. Go! 
Jay Guthrie, why do you not play DCS? Thank you, Asus. Why do you not play DCS? I do play DCS. Not for a while, though. Jay, um, I haven't played DCS for quite a while, but I love DCS. I have it. I have a bunch of aircraft for that. I've spent a small fortune on DCS aircraft. Um, I've talked about this before, too, in, in some live streams. I can't quite get myself to pay out fork over money for a World War II or an F-18, although there's a stock one, but like the F-14 Tomcat, I've actually had the F-14 Tomcat in DCS, and I love the fact that they're study level and they're just so much more in depth that I can't quite bring myself, Jay, to buy them um, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And so we haven't done it yet. I've told everybody here that at some point I do plan on doing a DCS stream I'll get my ass handed to me, I'm sure, because it's been so long and I'm out of practice, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I bought the uh, aircraft carrier too, and you probably know this, Jay, if you play DCS. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, but it's so much fun because like, you can do the F-14 and you know the catapult system and all that off of it. It looks like almost real. I mean, the, the water, the aircraft carrier, it's, just, it's a beautiful thing. I have the F-A-18 in DCS as well. Oh yes, Aces, and the P-51D. I've got the P-51D in DCS as well. Uh, but Jay, I love DCS. I I love it, I just haven't played it in a while. DCS is definitely, I mean, it's bar none the best. Well, you know, I remember talking, uh, uh, here's a question for you, Jay. Have you ever heard of Janes? Uh, now, see, I'm, I'm a little older, so you may not have heard of Janes, which is fine. But Janes was um, like one of the first, like, combat aircraft simulators that was really good. Like there was the F-15, the F-A-18, the Apache Longbow, um, the F-16, um, and it, was, it, was, it wasn't it was like study level by any means, but it was pretty cool. But back in that day, I always talked with, with a guy that uh, we both love jeans, and we're like, think about it. At some point in the future, there's gonna be like this environment where there can be people in tanks, there could be people in aircraft, there could be infantry, and uh, with DCS, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. I like the combat too, buddy. I just, I have been out so far out of it. Um, the other the other one I really like is IL-2, and we've talked about that. That's a World War II sim, and uh, trying to get Aces to, to pick up IL-2. Still haven't uh, managed that, but uh, IL-2 is pretty cool. 1996. I missed something. Yeah, there you go, Asus. Do it a mystery stream. You know, we haven't done a mystery stream in a while. Might have to do that. I need to practice a lot, though, guys. Like, even just to figure out how to start those damn birds. <laughs> so I don't embarrass myself. Ah, oh, hell, what am I saying? I embarrass myself enough as it is. I, I embarrass myself enough on this channel, so it's like, why not? All right, guys, I think it is time to crack. Um, are you guys ready for a bio break? I think we're probably ready for a bio break. What do you guys think? Let's do a bio break, guys. Um, let's take a look first and see. Um, oh, one of the things I want to show you before we do a bio break. So we go over here, um, and if you're flying this aircraft, you want to go to the calculator here. It's so like normally you might be on this. Go to the calculator and do sync, and it'll sync at 35,000. Um, our ILS intercept is 3,000 feet. Now, I'll show you that later, where I got that number from. So it says 100 nautical miles out, and we'll add, it's about, uh, so you wanna be, so what it's saying is, to get from 35,000 to 3,000, you wanna be 100 nautical miles out when you start your top of descent. But what you need to do is add a few miles because that's where I'm gonna intercept the ILS. The airport, I think, that we're flying into is like 14 feet or 13 feet above sea level. Um, so that is something we'll get into here a little bit later. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so we're at 35,000, so we're going to continue on flying some fans. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, let's go ahead and take a little bio break. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please smash the thumbs up button if you want to become a member of our small but yet close sim fan family please join check out our discord server and uh with that being said let's break for about five
five minutes, everybody, and uh, we'll be back with you shortly. And I'm just going to let this keep playing with the wing view. Be right back, guys.
Hello, hello. Guys, I'm back early. How about that? Sorry about that uh, echo. God, it gets hot in my studio though, friends. All right, so one of the things I was gonna mention here is uh, I like to put the uh, progress airport in here. So if we go Prague, and then we're gonna do YSSY, and then plug that in, and then it'll show us like seven, look at this, 797.2, and then 797. So because we're doing that straight in flight, um, it's, it's damn near like two to the T, um, almost exactly accurate in terms of like, how far away we are um, because it's a straight line distance, right? We got some more clouds coming up here. Okay, I got a new poll. Let me do a new poll here, guys, just for something fun. Is I like try this out? I change this. Okay. All right, guys. Here is the new poll coming to you for what music should we play next? So please click in chat what you would like to hear next because I've already went through all the tunes here. Do you want jazz? Just like chill out and mellow to jazz or do you want some electric music <laughs> kind of more of what we're listening to but different how are you guys doing up there you know what i just thought of something i should check and see if anybody sent me any messages the other cool thing about the airbus a320 fly-by-wire is you can see if People send you messages, and I'd almost guess. Oh, no messages! I am a loser. Le who they her? Nobody sent me any messages. I am shocked. <laughs> but I know now that I've done that, I'm sure that uh, Aviation or Kyle is going to send something. Maybe. Oh boy. No messages. Nobody loves me. <sighs> Ooh, we got 83% for jazz. We got seven votes. Jazz. Ooh, I, and I, I downloaded some uh, new jazz music for tonight, just in case you guys would uh, vote jazz. And it looks like that's the way we're going. <coughs> I still have this damn cough. What the? Seriously, like I had COVID like four weeks ago, and I still have this dry, itchy cough thing that's going on. It's driving me crazy, guys. Uh, let me get caught back up here. Lucio says, hey, if you have a smooth buffer landing, I'm going to sub. Lucio, you're on, pal. That's, uh, I'm going to, I did a buffer landing last. Uh, now, see, I'm going to, I'm going to jinx myself now, Lucio. But you gave me something to aim for, buddy. Let's see if I can do it. Although, uh, aviation, you're going to, you're going to laugh at this. Because you know me. I was like, I don't know, I was like distracted with something and I forgot to hit the approach mode so I was like way over speed. <laughs> like I was like, I was probably only like four miles away from final. I'm like, oh shit, slow this bird down. I got it slowed down and I landed fine, but I was like in a, in a mild panic and I'm like, thank God I am not live right now. 
All right, everybody's heard Lucio. We'll, uh, we'll sub if I can butter this landing on, on final. Well, I got something to shoot for, guys. Thank you for that challenge, Lucio. I got some screenshots to throw up in Discord later, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, aviation, I was like doing my practice flight earlier, right? And <clears throat> so I was like, I don't know, I was like distracted. I was thinking around with something as usual. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, I'm like three miles away from, like three nautical miles away from my intercept and I didn't hit approach mode. And so the aircraft was still like at 250 knots and I was below 10,000 feet. I'm like, oh my God. So I threw in the uh, speed brake and and I, I, I threw in a notch of flaps. And of course it was, the plane was flying too fast for that. And I got all these warnings and I, I got it slowed down and I did land fairly well. I did a pretty good landing on it, but I was like, oh, thank God Aviation Spider wasn't watching because I just I get an earful from you and so and so now I gotta like remember to hit the approach and I remembered you saying I don't need to hit I don't need to activate approach mode right but I, I forgot to hit the approach button which I assume would uh, get the aircraft to like engage in like slower speeds uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that but as soon as I hit the approach button, it was like, yeah, the airspeed dropped down, the engine dropped. Because the engine started revving up. I'm like, no, what the hell? And then I'm like, oh, I forgot to hit approach mode. Yep, that'll do it every time. I'm afraid to look. <laughs> it has got me too. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed, friends. Indeed. All right, guys, um, we got seven votes. Anyone else care to vote? Jazz or electric, we've got, uh, it looks like jazz is it. So I'm gonna let this song play, and after this song, we will uh, probably switch to jazz. I, I, you know what, I, I just realized something, guys. You all said jazz because you know then I won't start dancing, because who's gonna dance to jazz, right? Do, I mean, people, do dance to jazz, but not symphonic. Symphonic just dances to electric and and um, heavy metal, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, aviation, tell me if I forget, please. Please tell me if you're like if I'm like if I forget to hit something. Tell me in chat, because you know me, I get okay. Here's the thing. Aviation and Aces did a flight. Check it out on Aces Aces Down site. They did a flight together. I was on vacation in Puerto Rico with my family, and both those guys, it was hysterical because they're like, but there were two of them, and they were doing a shared cockpit, and they did very good. You guys did really well, but I think maybe a little appreciation because it's like I'm doing this by myself, and I'm gonna have to watch everybody that's doing stuff in chat. I gotta like make sure I'm entertaining and at the same time I'm landing this damn thing and I'm hitting all the buttons and switches and things I need to do before I land. Um, it's not as easy as you think guys and I think Aviation Spotter and Aces you might agree. Um, think about doing it yourself and hosting a stream by yourself and doing all that. It, it's, it, I mean it's obviously um, people do it far better than I do but it's not super easy. Speaking of which, Captain Canada, he does it by himself, and, and he does a good job. I was thinking about that. He, he told me a while ago that he was going to drop in on one of our live streams, and I just, I was thinking to myself while I was taking a break, I'm like, how cool it would be if, like, Captain Canada dropped in, and he just said hi, and even if he just dropped in for a few moments to say hi and then left, that would be so cool. I really, I really dig his channel. I think he's um, very entertaining. Um... I plan on meeting him hopefully at some point in um, one of the flight sim expos or whatever. Like when he, he actually went to the flight sim expo this last year, and um, and I went virtually and we were chatting not a ton but just a little bit in chat. Um, but yeah, I'd like to meet the guy some at some point. <laughs> Aces, I mean it's it's yeah man, I mean. It's not super easy, you know? I'd just be happy, Aces, to have you in here with these birds flying with all of us.
All right, guys. I'm going to end the poll. So it's all in. It will be Jazz. Jazz it is. All right. Let's get Jazz up and running here. And here we are. Ready? It's probably going to be a little quieter. I might have to... Is that too loud? How's that, guys? How's that, Ace? Does it sound all right? Harry says, you know what they say about meeting your heroes? I feel like I should know this, Harry. <laughs> Aviation says, you don't have to fly perfectly. You think I fly correctly when I fly the GA aircraft? <laughs> Uh, Ace is fine. Peer pressure. Next commercial stream. I'll fly along and hopefully not crash. I surrender. <laughs> Perfect volume on the jazz. Thanks, Aces. Thanks, buddy. Aces, we just want you. It's not the same without you, Aces. It's not the same without you, buddy. And we know you can fly these. I saw you fly it with Aviation Spotter. I know you can fly this aircraft. You did a good job, man. You did awesome. That's right, Aviation. The only way to do... Is to, is to do it, right? The only way to learn is to do it. Exactly right. Old golfer, little old goose. Harry <laughs> W, the Airbus flies itself. It pretty much does, unless you forget to hit the right buttons like I do. Believe me, I've messed it up a time or two. Aviation can vouch for that. Put the contrails. Love it. <whistles> Snap a screenshot of that. Oh yeah, got it. It's a pretty cool livery, I think. I mean, I've seen better, but all day, every day, low fares. You see us? Can we see us in there? I think, oh yeah, look at this. I'm just snapping some shots here, guys. Never mind me. Ah, uh, look at that. God, that's looking cool. You know, the, the coolest thing about this aircraft, guys, is the fact that it's free, right? I mean, how cool is it? that we have a community that does this stuff for free and I mean there's a lot of hours they spend in this uh Lucio I use I use uh slobs I don't use regular OBS I use uh Streamlabs um basically it's OBS with a um a skin on it right um I've, I've watched some things about like is OBS better than Streamlabs is Streamlabs better than OBS and Really, I think it depends. It just, they're, they're both good. Um, I like some of the stuff that Streamlabs has for overlays and stuff that I don't have to like go into a separate thing to, to put the overlays on, you know? And so, you know, I mean like with my stream deck and stuff, you know, I want to do this, the thumb. Um, it just, it works very well with stream deck and so does OBS though, regular OBS. Um, but yeah, I mean, I use uh, Streamlabs. I've used OBS, um, and it works just fine. StreamYard. What is that? I don't even know what StreamYard is. Probably should. Uh, Old Golfer 67 says, I am going to use 34 left because of the winds. The winds change, apparently. What 
What is what is StreamYard, Lucio? Must be like um, some other OBS program, maybe. God, what does I mean? <laughs> I'm I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna drink and coffee. See, ya. Lucio, where are you going? You're gonna sub if I if I if I butter the landing. You can't leave, or are you just gonna go for coffee and then come back? That's okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna butter this. No, I don't want to say that because I've said this before and then I mess it up. I'll be getting a ten knot tailwind coming in on sixteen right. Really. Meter. Okay, well, um, yeah, yeah, it shows uh, YSSY is uh, zero three zero at sixteen knots. Let me um, check something out here. Oh, beautiful. All right, well. Ah, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. So you guys are uh, saying I should take 34 left? <clears throat> Fine. All right, guys, so we're gonna switch it to um, three, four left. So arrival, hope I don't mess this up. Uh, ILS three, four left. So we're gonna go three, four left. Um, what do you guys say for um, the uh, Standard arrival. What what standard arrival should I use? What are you guys using for a standard arrival? Probably Bori 3A still, right? You guys using Bori 3A?
Yeah, I'm gonna change it to 34 left too. What do you What are you guys using for a standard arrival? Four A three A. Okay. Right? Is that what you're saying? Affirmative two aviation. Thirty four A three A. Okay. Four A three A. So we'll go that. Uh, insert. None. Insert. All right. There we go. Okay, so now we got to make sure we don't have things messed up here. Do you think that was a good call? We got to clear that discontinuity. Oh, fucking manual. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> As Asa said, there goes my... Uh... Okay, there we go. All right, guys, I'm following you with 34, uh, 34 left ILS. So let's go ahead and just check on that. Let's go to plan. And I'm going to go down to 20. And let's just go ahead and look at what we got here. We're going to go around and about. Look at that. Around and about. And then into 34 left. All right. Good enough, guys. Thank you. Thank you is that we don't have a 10 knot, you know, tailwind. Yeah, there goes the monetization. <laughs> That's right, Aces. <laughs> now I don't know. We're not going straight in. So now, I'm gonna, now I don't even have the practice. So we'll see how I do. Whoa, look at the flight plan. Look at what it says. How you doing, T-Mac? Good to see you, brother. How you doing, my friend? T-Mac, it's been a while. Good to see you, man. Uh, let's see here. We've got 3,000 still. Okay, 3,000. We'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be just fine. Mine is on the legs page. It's saying when I need to put flaps down, it says flaps one and flaps two for me. But it's still 3,000, so... Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to look. So how far out are we? Um, from the localizer, 2.2, 2, 4, 7, plus 6, 13, plus 9 is 22. 23. Um... It's about 35, what, 35, really? 35 out, so I'll say about 35, so 135 out? Four. Three, eight, 13, 21, 34. Let's say 34 knots, so 134. You'll do fine, Symphonic, thanks, Aviation. What is your remaining distance? Uh, 650 nautical miles. Look at those clouds and pins. Look at those clouds. Hey, <laughs> Lucio. If the butter is a Ryanair butter, I sub. Same. This is kind of cool too. You guys ever look at this? Like, look in the engine. You can actually see like air flowing into the engine. How flipping cool is that? Look at that. That's pretty neat. Ace, is the sound still good? Music? Thank you. Thank you, brother. Oh, it's so hot in here. My studio. Oh, my goodness. It's hot. It's hot. Get 
the sweat off my hand. Ha! <laughs> Probably. I know I put too much fuel in. You're probably right. Well, how much fuel did you put in aviation before we left? I put in 24,000, which is ridiculous, I'm sure. It's a lot of fuel. Hey, you know what? I was prepared for bad weather. So, you know, we could fly all over the place. So we could be in a holding, a holding pattern for like 10 hours. Asus, what in the hell, dude? What? Asus, man, what the hell? What did you? Thank you, man. Hundred dollars. Asus down. A hot drop in the hundred dollar dono. Oh my god. Asus says, "Don't kill me. I can." So I did for the next giveaway. Asus, you. What the? Asus, what the hell, dude? Everybody, uh, thank Aces in chat. Aces, thank you so much for that, man. Wow, that... That is the biggest donation um, I've seen on this channel so far. And Aces, that was... That was insane, dude. What? Thank you, buddy. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Aces, you have been here from the beginning. Um, or close to the beginning. You've not missed a single stream. Um, I appreciate Aces. That seriously was not necessary, dude, but thank you so much. Wow. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Thank you so much, man. I don't, know, I don't know what to say other than I'll put it towards... I'll put that in a separate account. <laughs> I've got a spreadsheet for this, guys, that I put stuff... But I will definitely put that in the uh, giveaway. So, guys, thank Aces, because it's not to me. It's going to go back to you guys. So, please thank him in chat. You can't forget about Recon Delta. Recon Delta, oh my god. Yeah, he dropped... Thank you, um, Aviation, because he dropped a couple $50 donos. He never dropped a hundred, though. He dropped a couple fifties, but he never dropped a hundred. And Aces has dropped other donos. So, um, but yeah, Recon Delta, uh, he, that was amazing. But Aces, thanks, man. Thanks, man. I, I mean, I'll put it back to all everybody. And Aces, you know that. That's why you did it, right? So, again, guys, thank Aces in chat. I see that you're doing that. Thank you, guys. Chris Evans says thank you. Uh, low Tech. Wow, you the man. You are the man, Aces. Yes. Aviation, I don't know what happened to Low Tech. Or Low Tech. Ah! Why do I do that? Um, I always like... I have like stuff in my brain and it just spews out. It, it, I can't control it. Um, I don't know what happened to Recon Delta. My son often asks me that too. Like, what happened to Recon Delta? I don't know. I think he got in trouble with his wife. Because <laughs> he was like... Buying track IR because I was suggesting it, and then he was dropping the donos. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, aviation. He did. He did a couple fifty dollar donations, but not no. Nobody's done a hundred. Uh, Aces, you 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 got it, buddy. You got the uh, you got the record now. Thank you so much, Aces. I, I don't even know what to say, man. Uh, T Max says, "Are you on Vet Sim? I am not. I, I I mean, I need to get on Team. Uh, I need to get on Vet uh, Sim, T Mac. I do. Or uh, Pilot Edge. I, I think I would rather do Pilot Edge. Actually, to be honest with you guys, I can't believe you, Aces of Hell." I just dropped you a uh, chat in Discord. Faces. Thanks, brother. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say, guys. Ridiculous. Uh, that puts... That definitely puts Aces in the lead right there. Um, so if we look. Yeah, old golfer. Forgot old golfer dropped a twenty dollar dono uh, not too long ago, and Silver Killer with the twenty dono. 
Actually, Silver Killer did a couple of the 20 donos, as you guys can see. Uh, Summa Kyle uh, dropping the $10 dono. Thank you, Summa Kyle. Uh, you guys are just too nice. Um, thank you, guys. And obviously, I'm not doing... You guys know this. Like, some people that might join, jump in. You guys know that I'm not doing this for tips. Because um, I just... Like, the money is just fun to put back into uh, giveaways or hardware or reviews and stuff like that. So, thanks, guys. Look at that. Out again. All right, I will be right back. Tommy Hughes donated $20. Thank you, Tommy. Oh my, you guys are going crazy. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Tommy, dropping the $20 dono. Thank you so much, Tommy. That is so kind of you, sir. Thank you so much. Tommy, you've you've donated, donated as well before. Thank you so much, sir. Again, we'll go back into the channel. I promise you guys. I don't, I don't take that money and buy bourbon and buy beer. I've got my own money for that. <laughs> Believe me. Tommy, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. $20 dono. Guys, uh, do a shout out to Tommy for that. Uh, see aces you have already. Thank you, Tommy. So kind. Now, look at this shit. Now we got the Thomas Hughes with the $20 dono. Guys, you are too kind. Thank you so much. Jeez. Well, cheers to you guys. I just grabbed uh, myself a uh, two-hearted, uh, two-hearted. You guys ever heard of that? Two-hearted IPA. It's really delicious. <laughs> guys, so, um, you guys like are starting to get like uh, very gifty. We put we put on the jazz, and all of a sudden it's like you guys start throwing all these. Donations on my, on me. Too kind, guys. You guys are too kind. We had a sub. See here, we'll do the event list and um, look at the uh, old golfer super tech subscribe. Peter subscribing. It's pretty cool. Lucio, if he if I butter the landing, he'll 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 subscribe and he can have his name on there. If I butter it, of course, right? Because I gotta butter the landing. Gotta butter it. Thank you guys. Appreciate you so much. You guys are just too damn kind. Oh, sh I, I said I wasn't going to dance on jazz. Sorry, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I almost, Aces of Aviation, I almost did 70s Disco Symphonatic tonight. I debated doing it. Doing the the, the, the afro hair and the mustache, I almost did it tonight. Because I did that for uh, Halloween. Oh my god, it was so funny. 
And I damn near did it tonight. It would have been a great thing, but I just like, eh, I'll save it for another time. <laughs> I love the I love the disco gig though. It's pretty cool. Kyle says climbing to flight level 370 to get over the wispy clouds. <laughs> Asa says no. <laughs> What in the hell? I'm gonna have to cut you guys off. I'm gonna have to cut you guys off. Chris Evans with the $50 dono. What is going on? You guys are crazy. Chris, thank you so much for the $50 dono. Guys, just stop. <laughs> I appreciate it, but oh my god. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Chris throwing in the $50 dono. I don't even know what to say anymore, guys. I mean, seriously, what? Chris, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Really, honestly. You guys are too kind. God. We're gonna have to do some one hell of a giveaway is what's gonna happen. We're gonna have to do one hell of a giveaway, aren't we? Yes, you guys are nuts! Thank you guys. Oh my gosh, Chris Evans. Throwing in the $50 dono. Thank you, Chris. Thomas with the with the $20 dono. Aces with the hundred dollar dono. You guys are crazy. Thank you guys. My god. Yeah, he's gonna mess up the landing if we keep this up. No kidding, aces. Holy crap, guys. Thank you so much, honestly, guys. Seriously, thank you. Because I, what's great about this is now I can like, I, I don't know what to do with it. Like, you guys, what do you guys want me to do? You want me to do a giveaway? You want me to put it in a uh, software review, a hardware review? Probably a giveaway. I don't know. Craft MK, greetings from Mercedonia. Having great fun watching you guys. Hope to join sometime in the near future when I get some better flying skills, dude. Craft MK, you don't need great flying skills. You can join us regardless. But uh, glad to have you here, Craft. Please smash that thumbs up button and join us. Uh, be a sub if you're not already a sub. If you're a sub already, thank you so much. But uh, nonetheless, Craft, thank you for joining our uh, our stream. Uh, this is a channel for sim fans, right? I started this uh, back in December of 2020. And uh, I was like, I'm going to start a channel and see where it goes, but it's going to be a channel for all of us to get together. Um, and it's been that so far. So I, I, so far, you guys have been the success of this. I'm just a part of it. And um, But anyway, I'm going to get start getting cinema. <laughs> but uh, no, welcome to the uh, stream, crap. Glad to see you here, buddy. Thank you. Silver Killer. Is Silver Killer still out there? Silver Killer, are you still out there? Silver Killer. Again, I want to do a thank, uh, thank you very much, uh, Chris Evans, for that $50 dono. Thomas, for that $20 dono. Aces, the $100 insanity dono. And the $50 dono is insanity, too, as well as $20. Um, you guys rock my world. Thank you, guys. Good job. Well done. You guys amaze me. Hey, you know what we should try to do at some point? We should try... Uh, we should really make an effort. How many of you guys are like would want to go out to um, Flight Sim Expo and check that out. Because how cool would that be? If we went to Flight Sim Expo, like when this COVID shit gets over with and it's not as bad as it has been, and we do uh, Flight Sim Expo, it'd be so cool to like go out there and see one another in person. Uh, maybe be able to chat with Captain Canada, maybe Jeff Fabiano, 
Um, I mean, Hudson, Hudson's been join has been jumping on this uh, stream from time to time. Aces, I know you pointed him to it. But it'd be so cool to see all you guys. I mean, I would love to like go out and Can you imagine like if we got together at like uh, Vegas or uh, Vegas, baby, Vegas. Or I don't care, San Diego, Orlando. I mean, it'd be so cool to see some of you guys in person. And we could like maybe, you know, get a hotel that we were in the same, you know, not the same, not the same room. I'm not, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, <laughs> but like if we stayed at the same hotel and had rooms and went out on the town, it'd be just so awesome. Might have to do something like that. Vegas for sure, Aviation says, man, I'm with you, man. I've been to Vegas like probably six or seven times. I would definitely go to Vegas with you guys. No doubt about it. Holy crap, we're getting some clouds up ahead. Yes, Chris, it would be fun. I'm telling you guys right now, I, I would totally do it. I would totally do it. I'd, I'd be like, I'd talk to my wife. My wife would be like, guys, so here's, here's how cool my wife is. My bachelor party, she was totally fine with me going to Vegas. So I went to Las Vegas for my bachelor party. Now, how many wives or fiancés would allow their significant other to go to Vegas? Not a lot, I imagine. Um, that's how cool my wife is. Kyle says, I've driven through Vegas four times, but have never stopped? Oh, man. We I, we got to play blackjack together. I love blackjack, guys. I, I'm a poker fan. Oh, wait, do I have my poker books? I've got like poker books like stacked high. I mean, I, I was playing poker for a while. I get into a lot, a lot of this stuff. Kyle, you've got to go to Vegas, man. Definitely got to go to Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas! Look at that. I've got just, you guys notice this? Right, um, look, look, um, look at right there. See that little black thing right there? It looks like a, it might be a scratch in your screen if I move. See, that's my, my microphone. I bet that dro drove. How did Aces not say anything about that? Yeah, only the fiancés who actually trust their future husbands, right, Aces? <laughs> well, give me a reason to go out. Absolutely, man. I, I I think we should do it. Like, let let's see, guys. Honestly, because like I like I almost went to the first. Oh shit, where are we at? How many miles are we? Oh, we're fine. I almost went to the very first ever Flight Sim Expo, and. I can't remember why I didn't go. I, I was like all excited. I'm like, I told my wife, I'm like, honey, I gotta go to this because it's like the first Flight Sim Expo. It's so cool. And I didn't go to that. And then the second one I was gonna go to, and I think that might have been around the COVID time, or maybe we had a, maybe it was the third one that was the COVID time. But I'm, 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 I'm flipping going, guys. Like I am, I'm committed. Like I, I definitely, I can't say for a hundred percent sure I will go to the next one. But there's a good chance I will. And so if any of you want to do an excursion, where is the next sim? Oh, I should know this. Where's the next Flight Sim Expo at, guys? Flight Sim Expo 2022. I'm looking it up right now. Do they not have it? They haven't announced yet. Okay, well, usually it's in September. Last one was in San Diego, so. So, given that the last one was in San Diego, I'm guessing maybe the next um, Flight Sim Expo 2022 might be in Vegas again. Let's hope.
Are you guys liking the jazz so far? <laughs> Aces, be right back, Bow. We understand, my friend. 470 for nautical miles. We are approaching our destination. Not top of descent yet, though, guys. Not top of descent yet. What time is it, guys? Uh, it's only 11.03? Okay, so here's the thing. Let's look down here. So look at that 5 UTC. So if we look at that 5 UTC and we look up here, so about an hour left in our flight. An hour left in our flight. How many of you can hang for another hour? Are you tired? Are you tired? I get it if you are. Wake up! <laughs> I, I, actually, I was saying that to myself, by the way. Wake up. Wake up, Symphonetic. You don't want to screw this up. You got to land this aircraft and butter that landing. Let's see if I can. You know, guys, what I love about the El Gato, like, check this shit out. So, like, I can, like, zoom out. Is that? Zoom in. That. I, I got a tear in the screen. I keep hearing stuff, and I think like somebody's doing something. But I, I love the fact that I can do that. Now I can change my aperture, my f-stop, all this crazy stuff. And I'm loving the Elgato face cam, guys. I would highly recommend it. It was like, um, I don't know, what is it, like 200 bucks, 230 bucks? I mean, it's, it's not cheap, but it isn't like it's extremely expensive. What is the Elgato face cam? The Elgato face cam is right now on Amazon. You can pick up the Elgato face cam. What the hell? 173 bucks? Holy crap. That's a good price, guys. That is a really good price. And that's that's from Amazon. Wow. So this I'll put it in chat here, but this is this is uh this is what I have. So um there is the um the face cam that I have, and I really love it. It's got like the Sony, like the same sensors that Sony puts in their, uh, I think, that Sony puts in their uh, uh, SLR cameras. <laughs> you can zoom out and really trigger aces. <laughs> uh, old Gover says, might be a little longer to burn off the extra fuel. Max landing weight, I think, is 14,505. Oh, yeah, well, we'll land anyway. God, why do I have... Well, no, well, I'll be fine. I'm at 14,680. I, sh I don't know. Maybe I won't burn all... I, I should burn all that. I should burn off enough. Oh, golfer. But yeah, I, I definitely dig the Elgato face cam. If you guys are streamers or you're looking to stream, I would definitely recommend the Elgato face cam for sure. Cheers. Chris Evans says I unfortunately can't hang for another hour, so I'm off for tonight. Thanks for the most thanks for most of the flight and can't wait to get back up soon or on some COD. Um, Chris Evans, thank you, my friend. Uh, I understand it is late, but Chris Evans, thanks again for the fifty dollar dono. I, you know, 
I'm speechless, Chris. Thanks so much, and I understand if you have to leave. Um, but thanks, thank you, guys. Thank you so much for the $50 dono. I'll put it back in the stream. I'll put it back in the channel, Chris. And uh, maybe catch you soon for the, some COD. We played COD the other night, and um, yeah, we had some fun then, didn't we, Chris? But Chris, thanks for joining, and we'll see you again next time. And until then, Chris, blue skies, brother. Blue skies. This is jazz? I guess it is. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little... I need to stop myself. So I get a little carried away. Right now, Ace is going, oh my god. Symphonic, stop it. Can't help it. Getting the groove on. I mean, I'm with good company. We're flying Australia. We're coming in to Sydney. I've never been there. I think it'd be kind of cool to go to Sydney, by the way. Blue skies, Chris. <laughs> My eyes. My eyes. <laughs> oh, shoot. Doesn't it feel like this flight's taking forever, though? Blue Show goes, how much is left for the butter? Okay, well, we're at 4.59, so we picked up a minute. Um, and we got 420 nautical miles left, Blue Show. So if we look up here... So you can see, we got about 40... What? What'd that be, guys? So five minus, um, so we got, um, 54, so 53 minutes left. 53 minutes left, Blue Show. Can you wait 53 minutes? Can you hang with us for 53 more minutes? I know that's a long time. Oh, that's a good screenshot. Snap that, snap that. No, it's clip that, clip that. You gotta clip that. Right, Aces? Clip that, clip that. You gotta clip that. guys because I am not um, Lucio I'm gonna record <laughs> I haven't see like Lucio now I've, I've changed where we're landing right because now we're gonna land on three four left as you can see down here and I have not practiced that and uh, even though aviation spotter God bless his soul um, said I'll be fine I'm not sure I will be no wait I think I will be sounds like an excuse I, I've learned, by by the way, Aviation Spotter, that I'm not going to say I'm going to make you eat your words. Because when I do that, I eat my words. And I feel like uh, I shouldn't say things like that. Because it, it backfires. It honestly backfires when I say... Like anytime I'm going to say, Aviation Spotter, I'm going to make you eat your words. As you've so eloquently captured in one of your compilations you know I, I still think that compilations are obviously a lot of fun for all of us um, but let's make Symphonic feel bad about himself because um, we're, we're going to capture some of that let's make him feel like he's um, you know less than 
you know, qualified, if you will. And um, I just got to say, um, it's freaking awesome. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's good stuff. I love I love the fact that you poke fun at me in, in the videos. It's great because it's a lot of fun and that's what it's all about. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully I didn't just blast everybody's eardrums out there. I'm kind of dramatic that way. Approach heading 335, old golfer 67 says. Why did you change over to 34? <laughs> Aviation. No, no, I think you'll do fine, seriously. I hope so. I don't know. I didn't get a chance to practice this aviation. <laughs> I kind of startled you, didn't I, aviation, right there? Because it just like blurted out. It's all good, buddy. Well, I'll see what I can do. 3 4 left. I mean, Kyle, are you going to switch over to 3 4 left? I think Kyle needs to switch over to 3 4 left because the winds would dictate that you need to do that. Look at that wispy cloud right there, guys. Look at that. Look at that wispy cloud. Just like a little soap blanket covering us, friends. Look at that. Pretty awesome simulator, if you ask me. If you ask me, I am a big Microsoft fan. I mean, I know that a lot of you are waiting for X-Plane 12, and I will get it. I will get it. And I love X-Plane. You know what, I'm gonna, and I've said this before, as, as much as, uh, as uh, Austin Meyer sometimes drives me crazy, it's still good that we had X-Plane to carry us through from when Microsoft dropped Flight Simulator 10. Thank God um, we had prepared 3D um, to get us through, but then X-Plane got us through, and now we've got this amazing simulator. And I'm excited because, you know what? X, uh, X Plane 12, competition is good. Competition is good. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing X Plane 12. I will, I'll definitely get it. I mean, I've had every version of X Plane as well. I've had every version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've had every version of X Plane. Why would I stop now? If anything, to could do a compare and contrast, right? I wouldn't, I mean, I would not stop at this point. I mean, how many of you guys? How many of you are excited about X Plane? I mean, you know, the, the thing is, I still think X Plane has it when it comes to flight models. I do. I honestly do. I mean, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is getting there, but if you want something, if 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 I were to, if, if I was going to suggest to one of you, right? If you, if one of you were like. Symphonic, I'm thinking about getting um, my pilot's license for real, right? In real life. And um, I want a simulator that I can practice in. And uh, like, you know, what what have you. Maybe it's just, just touch and goes and landings. Maybe it's um, fly into an NDB approach. Maybe it's flying an ILS approach. And if you're gonna ask me what simulator should I get? Hands down, I would say X Plane still, right? I would. Because when I fly an aircraft in X Plane, I actually feel like it's more realistic. But I'm going to say this Microsoft Flight Simulator with the Sobo, it's getting closer. And guys, I, and I'm not going to break my. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm not going to break my uh, non disclosure agreement, my NDA. But I must say that uh, you know, because I was the alpha, I was one of the alpha testers for my for for this Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I would truly say that um, okay, I got I'm like trying to think of like what I can say, and what I can't say. Um, I would say this. When I was when I was doing the alpha testing, I was like, 
Oh my god, this thing looks great, but the flight models... There's a lot of work to be done. But I'll tell you what, Asobo and uh, Microsoft have come a long way, friends, in a very short period of time. And why wouldn't they? Because they have a lot of developers for this, right? And so... Explain, I mean, uh, th they've got a long way, I mean, they've got their work cut out for them, let's just say that. Austin Myers has got his work cut out for him, you know, because I just, I'm so excited that, my, I mean, how many of you guys are excited about Windows and Microsoft? Windows? But, I mean, this is on Windows because Windows 11 and DirectX 12. But how many are excited about this being back in production? I mean, like, what are the what are the saddest times for me, honestly, guys? And this is so this this shows how pathetic my life is. Um, was when Microsoft said they were canceling Flight Simulator. I was. Honest to God, I was depressed. I mean, I was like, are you sh are you kidding me? They're not developing anymore? I was honestly depressed. And now it's here and it's it's like live and it's updating. Like we're gonna have another, um, what is it guys? It's a uh, Sim Update 7, is that right? Sim Update 7 coming out um, the end of the month or somewhere around there. And we're gonna have another update to the simulator with which the sim update opposed as opposed to the world update sim update has a lot of bug fixes and stuff and it's just it's so awesome to see this kind of stuff Sim update eight, thank you, a Aces. Yeah, is it? It's sim update. Uh, sim update eight. Uh, yes, sim update eight. You're right, Aces. Thank you. Um, February twenty eighth will, will be when that comes out. So I always get those mixed up. So like, um, sim update comes first, then world update, then sim update, right? So sim update, uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. That will be awesome. And is that when um, we're gonna get the um, uh, DLSS? I think maybe. You guys saw me post that in Discord, right? I think. Um, I'm trying to remember if it's Sim Update 8 or maybe, you know, it's coming later this year. I don't know if it's uh, Sim Update 8, but uh, we'll be able to get DLSS and that will be kick ass. I mean, talk about adding to performance and increasing the frame rates and all that good stuff. Thank you, Aces. Sim Update 8. Sim Update 8. I wonder what the next world update it will be. Get these wispy clouds going by us. Oh, low tech 420 says I'm running sim update eight beta, no DLSS. Oh uh, shoot. Well, I know they said it would probably come out later this year, so maybe it'll be sim update nine. Maybe? I don't know. Let's take 420, how the hell are you, buddy? All right, guys, I will be right back.
How far away, guys? Two hundred and ninety-four nautical miles. And what did I say we'd have to start descending by? Did I say thirty-five? Add thirty-five? Seven, thirteen, twenty-three, yeah, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, hundred thirty-five-ish. Yeah. Thank you, Aces. That's right. <laughs> what the hell is this song? I don't remember even having this in the list. I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, yes! Thank you, Aviation. Why is this song so, like, I feel like it should start running. <laughs> what the hell? I don't remember having this song in the list, guys. I am so sorry. This is obnoxious. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you're kind of sweating here. Okay. Get myself collected here. Okay, um, I don't even know where, where I was. What, and where the hell was I? 
I, I feel like I'm at a a circus. <laughs> oh, golfer. Oh my goodness. You guys are like, calm down, Symphonetic. Calm down. I, I really gotta cut this out of the mix. This song is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so. Uh, 101 nautical miles now. Okay, so what we need to figure out here is, um, let me get this going. What? What happened? Oh, shit. You guys still here? I hit the wrong button. Um, so if I put this up, so you guys, I, I gotta check this. <laughs> I'm sure it, things are still working. music is obnoxious oh my goodness all right skip <laughs> jesus wow i am gonna have to like cut that out of the loop my goodness that was terrible okay so um so here we go so you, you heard me count this up so you get the 0.02 the 2.2 4.7 5.7 and so i was adding that up because you can see that uh, that altitude with the line under it says 3,000. And so that's where we want to go, uh, where we want to be down to when we intercept that uh, ILS approach here. And so, um, so essentially, that's what we did here. So we said we want to be at 3,000. Oops, sorry, guys. Um, we want to be at 3,000. And so what this calculator is telling us is like 100 nautical miles out if you want to be at 3,000, you want to be 100 nautical miles out. But like when I look, when I look at this, this is from the airport. So that's where there's that compens. That's where we have to compensate for the um, these distances because these are miles away. So at this 3,000, when we intercept the 3,000, we're actually a, a further farther distance from landing at the airport. Does that make sense? Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. And so that's why um, we add miles to the 100. So like Asus had said, so if we, we look at this and we say, okay, 0 0.2, 24, so it'd be 51, 71, 78, 12, 8, so say 13 plus nine, um, you know, and so we got 22 and then, um, so like 35. So right around, because that was 13. So Asus, yeah, exactly. So like 35, so that's why we say, 135 does that make sense so that's 135 nautical miles away from um uh from the airport so like when we're looking at this because especially if we go to prague here so we got um distance of 135 and what we're gonna do now guys is the most exciting part of the entire stream so i'm glad for you those of you that are out there right now this is the most exciting time because we're gonna do a print we're gonna use our printer in-flight printer so what we're gonna do we gotta get the the weather so we are going to go to mcdu menu atsu and aoc and then we're going to do a weather request now with the weather request so we got our surrounding airports but we're going to go to yssy so now we're going to do ascend because we want to see what the weather's like right because we got to program this in for doing performance and uh, we're going to wait for this to say message um, for us because we just sent that message and their company message has come up so now we can go back to the AOC and then receive messages. Now we go to METAR and uh, here we've got YSSY and this is the best part, guys. Prints, print it. So now we go down here. Now this is gonna print out for us. This is what it's all about. This is like the climax. You click on that and that puts it up here. This is what, this is the most fun of, of the entire thing, right? Because now we can look over here and we can see METAR YSSY, which is uh, Sydney. And so now we can see what um, the winds are and what the temperature is, all that stuff. Okay, so what we need to do now, 
Oh, shut up, Alexa. Um, so we're gonna go to perf, and we're gonna go to next phase, and we're gonna go to next phase until we get to here. Okay, so now we have QNH. So now QNH is two zero or two one zero zero seven okay so we're gonna go down here one zero zero seven click in there so one zero zero seven and um and then we're gonna look at temperature and temperature is 28 celsius right there so we'll go two eight and that and then um our winds are zero four zero 18 knots so we'll go zero four zero slash one eight and we'll plug it in here. And that's all you have to do. Now we're set to go. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. Just like Aviation Spotter would do it. Oh, to be like Aviation Spotter, guys. If we could all just be like him, the world would be such a better place. <laughs> Kyle says I keep getting no D at D atus, but I may have it set up for pilot edge. Huh. Don C PSA guys, I wouldn't set MSFS to direct 12 beta if you were if I were you. Don't try it. My MSFS won't launch now. I'm just letting you know to spare you the pain in the butt of this. Did you see FB? Really? Teach me, OB1. Here, maybe? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. I have not tried this. So, aviation, like, what? Like, what, what are we? So I can type this in. What, what am I doing? What? Oh, God. So you wouldn't use the MCVU, you'd use the EFB. Uh, what? What's going on? There we go. 047 or 04018. Okay. Why why am I doing this? <laughs> Thing. Damn it, I got Chuck close in the way. What'd I say? Eighteen knots. Temperature, 28. The hell is that? I can't remember. 10, 0, 0, 007.
Runway altitude 13. Runway heading. What the hell runway are we doing, guys? Um, 34 left. So 340. The hell? There we go. Dry, runway slow, approach speed, wait. Look at aviation's going nuts. <laughs> tail icon, tail icon, Symphonic. Hello. Press the blue button that says from Simbri. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. I don't see shit. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I just have to be patient. Thanks, aviation. Oh shit! Look at that. Woohoo! Well, that looks like something. That looks like disco to me. I'm going off of my own little world. I'm driving aviation crazy. He's like, no, don't be doing that, symphonic. Just go to the tail. Awesome. Uh, better see where I'm at here. 188. And what did we say, Aces? 135-ish? Okay, guys, so now we're gonna go over here. All right, um, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So we're gonna go 3,000 on the EFIS. So 3,000. There we go. Aviation Spider starting his descent, because he's fancy like that. I wish we had like I, I wish I could like jump into aviation spotters aircraft. Because Oh, old golfer starting down. That's what she said. I know, guys, I'm like a two-year-old sometimes. I apologize. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Hey, if we get down soon enough, Aces, we can maybe do a little Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, some gunfight action. Man, I was like hot on Wednesday night, man. I was like feeling it, dude. Chris Evans dropped off, because, but uh, yeah, I was I was like on, on point. But then there's other nights where I'm just like, Anybody could beat me. You know, we all have those moments. Kyle says, remember being able to do that in FS10 multiplayer. Yes, Asus. Uh, I know I need to butter this. Although, I don't know. We might have lost... Uh, We might have lost Lucio. We might have lost him. Wait, what did I say that we lost the fr the family friendly status? I don't. I didn't swear, did I? Did I swear, guys? Did I swear? If I did, I apologize. I'm usually uh, better than that. And there goes that family friendly status. Did I swear? I pro. I, I must have. Aces wouldn't say that if I didn't. I'm sure I did. Although you gotta, you got to agree, Aces, that I've like cooled my um, language. It, it it did take an effort because when I started, I was uh, I was like a drunken sailor, guys. I was swearing left and right, and uh, Aces is like, yeah, Symphonic, you probably shouldn't swear as much. Keep it family friendly. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy, it's so good to see you, man. Tommy, are you going to buy that uh, that uh, build? 
Was that a song, Sympathetic Old Golfer asks. <laughs> I think so. I think so, Old Golfer. Tommy, you should you should get that uh, MVXT kit, man. And then like just uh, post as you build it. Like go through the uh, manual and post it, cause it be kind of cool to see what you think. Guys, we are so close to descent. Uh, Symphon Don C says, Symphonic, I cooled my language and took an F word. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you right now, I mean, I'm I'm not perfect, right? I mean, I, I slip up. And um, we all do, right? We all, we all have those moments where we're like, we slip up and then we feel bad and we're like, oh. Like like uh, like last night, guys. Um, so my uh, daughter and I were, my, my son was in a, um, uh, a swim meet and my daughter and I were at home. And so like we were baking two frozen pizzas and I, I had this, uh, it's called lots of matzah. And it's a really good, they're like a pub kind of pizza and they're kind of, near local and so i put she didn't want all the mushrooms and sausage and stuff like i like so i'm like all right that's fine we'll do a pizza for you and a pizza for me so she just wanted a pepperoni pizza from schwann's you guys know schwann's so we got a schwann's pizza put it in there and i put my lots of matza and i was so looking forward to it i'm like oh my god this is gonna be awesome because i've been like on a diet and i'm like i've done good i'm gonna eat this pizza and i was like all pumped for it now, I set my timer on the uh, on the oven, you know, to like check it like at minimal time. So like, usually it's not quite done yet, but just to make sure it's not gonna burn or anything. So I set my timer at like 15 minutes and my timer goes off. So I leave, I, I get up from my computer and I run upstairs. And <laughs> my daughter has the pizza and it's flipped entirely over in the in the oven on the door and it's upside down splat and it's 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 a complete mess it's a complete shit show and she's like and you know like her or the pizza that she wanted of course is like in the rack still and it's fine my pizza is a complete disaster it's like upside down the cheese is all over greens all over and I'm just like, I flip it upside down, back over onto like a cardboard box, and I, I put it up and I'm like, I'm gonna throw it away, because it's just like completely a disaster. And I get pissed, and I'm like, I, I told her, I'm like, I appreciate you trying to help, but, and I got mad, I let the better part of me get away from me, and I felt really bad, because like she was just trying to help, and then I, I was, it been a stressful week at work and I was it's the little things guys I was just like oh my gosh so I apologize to her and she said I was fine but you know as as parents as some of you that are parents you know there's times when you get upset with your kids and um, sometimes when you punish them or you get upset with them it hurts you more than it hurts them and I, I know that some of you that are parents out there you know what I mean but I did. I, I, I'm still kicking myself in the butt. Because I know she was just trying to help. And she flipped the pizza over. Big deal. I was like, you know what? I, I would rather have it. I, there isn't a thousand pizzas that I wouldn't, like, go through and have, you know, throw them away. Because I don't want to make my uh, kid feel bad. But I did. I, I lost my temper. And I was just like, you know what? I told her. I'm like, you know what? Dad's sorry. He didn't need to, like, you're just trying to help. It sucks. It sucks. Anyway, I know you, I know th those of you that have kids, you know what I mean. All right, 127, we need to, we need to start descending. Holy shit. All right. Up, and there we go. Exactly. So Asa says, that is the worst when you get upset. In the end, it really wasn't such a big deal. I, I, I know. Exactly, he says. Exactly. Exactly, man. You know what I mean. So now we're descending. So you can see right there, we're descending.
I completely missed that descent though. Like about, by what, 13 miles? Yes, prepare for sterile cockpit. We get under uh, 10,000 aces, I think we'll do sterile cockpit. Thank you. Look at those mountains. Can we get 30 likes, guys? We're so close, two more likes, 30 likes. For all those of you that are out there that haven't done the like already, thank you for joining. If you would smash that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. We're so close to 30 likes. Like, we're that, that close. Would you be so kind? Oh yes, yeah, spoilers. Yeah, so it's like completely clear up ahead. Thousand at Basra? I don't think that's gonna happen. You know what I don't get though? Like it says 8,000 and 9,000, right? speed and just be under 9,000 at barrel. All right. All right, Cal. Appreciate it.
All right, here we go, guys. Javier, done with dinner. How's it going, guys? Javier, we're coming in for a landing, buddy. Maybe, Kyle. So smooth right now. So smooth. Love it being smooth like this. Be like, look at this, guys. How smooth that is. 9,000. There are 10. I mean, that's a crazy thing, right? Because, like, um, I miss it by, like, 8 nautical miles, and, like, now I have to have, like, full, like, spoilers deployed, and... Aviation's about to land. All right, so we gotta flip this up. All right, and uh, landing lights on. There we go, guys. Stroke high. All right, thanks, Aces. Stroke high pit. Here we go, guys. Six thousand Zonka. All right, so we're going to go up here. Shit. You go up here, and we're going to do um, LS. Thanks, system. Good. Click that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Think we can land this?
I think we can land this, right? We got the uh, ocean off to our left. Three for left. <laughs> Asus says you got this. Thanks, Asus. Maybe. I might. I don't know. We'll see. We might have a sub if I can butter it, Asus, right? We got Sydney coming up. Look at that. Sydney right up right here to the left. Look at that. There's Sydney right there. Could be. <laughs> like we're gonna go to the right and then to the left. Oh, Aces, remember when you were flying with uh, Aviation Spider on this? Landon? We got escorts. <laughs> yes, indeed, my friends. We do. We have escorts. Holy crap, we hit 30. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Guys, we hit 30. That's awesome. 30 likes. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, guys, so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh my god. Here we go. Coming in, coming in for landing. Look at that. Look at the city there. Pretty sweet. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Woo! Bridge and all that stuff. Beautiful. Okay, where the hell is my... Um, Okay, so this is the kind of stuff that drives me crazy. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Approach, right? Uh, uh, let's see, Lauren Smith, Symphonic, how did you get your 37? Did you wait, wait in a queue? Um, I, I got it, uh, Lauren, uh, in the um, New Egg Shuffle, my friend. I got it in a New Egg Shuffle. Turn approach mode off? Why? I don't I don't get it. Why why would I turn it off? Because I'm like not facing it or what?
And do I need to uh, hit the approach mode on this? Because if I if I go to performance, should I hit activate approach phase or not? Because aviation, you said don't hit that. All right, buddy. I've got it not set. Oh, wait, why the hell is it doing that? Why, why is it? Why am I looking at this? I'm going way too fast though. I'm like at 250. I shouldn't be at 250. I don't know why the link I mean it was going too fast right <laughs> dang you're up late the fuck okay I'm still going There we go. Hey, good luck, girl, counting on you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Like, like, like right there? Why? It's like that? Like, why is it doing it? This is kind of a shit show, honestly. Cause like like why is my speed like going all over the place? Alright, so um let's see, we've got Atret. Atret will be when we uh let lower our landing gear. Well, here we go, guys. All right, here we go.
Okay, landing gear down. I, 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 you know what? I don't know what to say, aviation, because, like, I, I practice this and I do okay, and then, like, I do, like, I change this and stuff just doesn't go as planned. So, I don't, I don't know what to say. I just, it doesn't seem like it's. I mean, obviously, I'm doing something wrong, but it's, I, I just don't quite get it. All right, so we're gonna have to like go down here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get our spoilers armed, and we'll go medium here, and we gotta go up here and do our landing lights, which we already had on. Got. I just I don't I don't get it because like. I flew this earlier and I was fine, and now it's like. I never have had this much problems with like the Zebo. I've had so many problems with the A320. Like, I don't get it because it's like sometimes it just like speeds up, it won't like slow down. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Obviously, I'm doing something wrong, but I just. This aircraft, I, I still don't, it seems buggy to me. It seems like it doesn't do the stuff that it should, but apparently, um, according to aviation, I am doing something wrong, but every time I fly this, it just seems like something goes wrong. All right, here we come. All right, here we go, some fans. Here we go. One thousand. One thousand. So when we get to uh, four thousand or uh, five hundred feet. We'll uh, disable autopilot. Yeah, can have a uh, we can have a short debrief, but I mean, how many times am I doing am I doing this? And it's like every time it seems like something is different with this goddamn aircraft. It's <laughs> driving me nuts. All right, here we go, guys. Five hundred. Five hundred. Autopilot off. Auto throttle off. My aircraft. Here we go, guys. Four. Why am I why am I floating right now? Ten five. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, so now we're off. 
And we'll start the master APU. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it, Jay. Thank you so much. All right. See you, Lucio. Thank you for joining. Appreciate you, buddy. All right, let's see. Can go up here. <laughs> like a pro. I, I don't know about that, but... Appreciate it, guys. here should have that uh, going on probably should turn off the landing lights right normally turn off lights and uh, strobes off and taxi all right friends we'll just pull right up here and let's see Let's see, let's go. I forgot to turn on the Bravo cam. Oh, shoot. Let's go right here. And we'll stop right there. All right. Put those uh, flaps up. And we're going to turn this down. There we go. Awesome. Okay, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and look up here. We've got our master APU on. Everything will go on APU bleed. And now we can turn off our engines so we got our APU bleed off and here we go there we go she's a spinning down Tommy Hughes great flight tonight uh, thanks blue skies to you as well Tommy Hughes thanks for joining buddy appreciate you my friend blue show take care we'll see you soon um, and thank you for joining us tonight appreciate you and there they go. Look at that. And the engines are spinning down. We're good to go there. Uh, we can go to external power now. And then we can turn our, AP, our APU off. And uh, we're good to go there. Turn our fuel pumps off. Oh, there we go. And everything off. We got the beacon off. Let's go ahead and turn the nav lights off wing light off um i think we're probably good to go sim fans right are we good to go aviation are we fine wait do, do i have the no that's off that's off okay and what, what i love about this guys is i can turn off the batteries so like watch this so everything's off and then i will turn off the batteries so like one two and shit's still going. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, I don't quite think that's the way it should work. Although, external power's on. Let me turn that off. But even if I turn that off, we still got everything on. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We can live with it. It's fine. It's all fine. Got a screenshot of that, by the way. Kyle Summers says he's on final. Well, if he's on final, we should try to catch him. Guys, let me see. Wait, I'm going to turn on the... Because, uh, of course, we need to turn on the... What? Come on. Got to turn on the nameplates. 
Guys, gotta turn on the name plates. Let's do that really quick. Apply and save. Yes. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Reaper 1 flying Boeing. Summer Kyle, here he comes. Here he comes, guys. Got it just in time, Kyle. This is this is perfect. Nice. Why can't we see your landing gear? It's kind of odd. Beautiful landing, Kyle. That's awesome. Woo! Well, 31 likes, guys. I gotta tell you, thank you so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, you know what? I'm gonna figure out this aircraft one way or another. I swear to God, every time I fly it, like, sometimes I'm like right on, and sometimes I fly it, it's like, I, I don't understand it. It's just like I can't predict what it's gonna do and um, apparently I'm doing something wrong and uh, Aviation Spotter is going to set me right so I'm looking forward to that guys Because I need some explanation because this aircraft is pissing me off <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining the stream. I got to tell you Chris Evans $50 dono laying the $50 dono hammered down. Thank you, Chris and Tom Thomas Hughes, hey, Tommy, Tommy, thank you so much, man. That $20, I'm going to put it right back into the channel and to all of you. Aces down, what the hell are you doing, man? Aces down with a $100 dono. Dropping the $100 dono. Aces, thank you so much. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. Like all of you, I just, uh, you guys amaze me. You always pull through and just like uh, blow me away guys and uh, so I want to say thank you to all of you all of my regulars so aces down of course uh, aviation spotter big shout out to you Kyle thank you so much my moderators Blando couldn't make it tonight and then my regulars uh, you know like Lucas and Tommy Hughes and uh, Alan Cleveland and uh, who else Javier Javier is Silva killer as we all know him as um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's just like Flame Nation now, kind of like being a regular as well. Um, and then a lot of a lot of you that are new to the channel, Lauren, um, and, and and all the others. I can't even I can't even go through all these. There's so much chat here, guys. This is great. It's a it's a good thing to have a lot of chat. And so um, I want to take this this time to say thank you to each and every one of you, um, Chris Evans. Thank you so much, Chris Evans. Lucio, appreciate you being with us tonight. Uh, old Golfer 67, as always, Old Golfer. Uh, always good to see you, my friend. Uh, Craft MK, Craft MK joined us tonight. Um, great to see Craft MK. T Mac, it's always good to see T Mac. T Mac dropping in for a little bit for tonight. And um, all the rest of you. Thank you guys so much. I hear these F 18s flying around. Guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Again, thank you so much for joining. And until next time, stay safe and blue skies. We will see you guys soon for another stream. And uh, hopefully I'll get another uh, video upload here at some point. Guys, take care. Have a great Saturday night and the rest of your weekend. Love you guys. Peace out.